Hello and welcome to another episode of the Never A Straight Answer podcast, the podcast that aims to cover a wide range of topics from conspiracy theories to popular culture and news. I'm your host Kaz and joining me in the studio, as usual, you know him, he's my co-host, it's Mr. Taylor. Yeah, good evening everybody. <laughs> good evening and welcome back new listeners welcome, and repeat offenders. Thank you for joining us for a very spooky haunted episode Ooh, yes. of the Never A Straight Answer podcast. Yes. Um, Pretty cool. Well, this week we're going to be looking into possessions and some of the world's most famous haunted dolls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's some, a bit of a creepy some topic. demons out there. We've been looking into it like, all this week. And this, I tell you, in fact, I've been looking into this haunted doll stuff for ages because I'm really fascinated by it. Especially yeah, you've got when. A lot, do you know what? It's just like, I just. There's loads of psychological stuff behind it as well. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. if you want to kind of look at it from the angle that there's not actually a haunting but like the people behind the 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 claims yeah could be you know yeah. i don't know could be kind of trying to pull a fast one who well, knows yeah yeah people um, do do it we've all heard about um the uh, the story of annabelle which was the doll that inspired the uh, the conjuring film franchise um that's just the tip of the iceberg my friend yes uh, oh yes well Does that's coming up all very soon in the show very soon as well as um, obviously NASA news, yes, and a lot other of NASA bits and pieces, out there. other bits and pieces to, to you know to keep you going throughout the week. Oh yeah. Um, but before we get into all that, what have you been up to this week, Mister T? Me, um, actually, I, I I found out. Um, I, I think it was actually yesterday. That do you know where the word dog comes from? <laughs> dog. Yeah, dog. as in dog, D O G. Yeah, uh, it's God backwards. Uh, well, it, well, not if, if the you actual didn't know answer that, is you know. no one actually knows why it's uh, why they're called why dogs. They're called dogs, yeah, dog, yeah, because dog. dog isn't it, it doesn't come from either Latin, Germany, or French, French for uh, like England. So they cannot work out, they can't work where, out the where the word dog come from. comes from. But there is um, what about cat? Um. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, see, I, I bet cat. that's the same, isn't it? A pig, cow. Pig. You know, have they got have they got explanations for yeah. all these? But they can't work out yeah, where they dog just can't comes work from. Out dog. That's crazy. And it it, it, it could be uh, to do with um, like uh, gods, like you were saying. Like uh, there's uh, uh, a god on island that um, Anubis. That well, sounds... there's almost like that sort of canine, you know, gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, apparently, um, it you know, from Sirius, um, which Sirius, is yeah. the dog. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it could be the fact that dog, God, being backwards yeah. is actually a relevant, it could a well relevant be, yeah, fucking well. English, um, analysis is in terms of what 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 it means. So, yeah, language well, is a bit true. weird, isn't it? It is, and it, it keeps changing, and the meaning of things keep changing as well. When you know, you should keep it what it actually means. Yeah, the meanings do change. Yeah. I mean, like um, one. But one thing I've seen this week, and um, we're going to, well, spooky music's kicked oh. in, um, is fucking Boris Johnson's. They've had the Conservative uh, conference here yeah, in Manchester this have. week. They have what indeed. a fuckwit Boris right. Johnson is. I mean, yeah. I'm not being funny. The guy just doesn't have a fucking clue. No. Thinking yeah. of the future and it's telling us about the future 20 when years, should be doing 20 now. years down the line stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, right, we've got all these plans. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Sausages. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. you know, like, oh, great. Great that you've got plans. But what about right now? Yeah. What's happening right yeah. now? Because there's a lot of fucking people sh- right Desperate on shit street. Minute, yeah. And you don't seem to really be focusing on that. Yeah, because I mean, they're always the short uh, uh, plan uh, uh, termers, basically. Uh, but they, they, they are going long term. Long but term, it's but like, well, we need short term as well as long term. We can't just all put all our eggs in the future basket and hope well, that yeah, everything's going to be cool right someone now. Someone else could be in power. But this is the thing. It's like, you know, with the, the way that the guy goes on, it's mm. almost like he doesn't actually have a clue what how most of the country actually live. You know, he's like he's, a rabbit with in 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 front. What of was it? Spotlight. I mean, he was part of that. Um, you know, group in university, like the fucking Eton. Yeah, you know, the Bollinger num- group. Bolling, yeah, Bolling, yeah. Bollinger. Bolling, uh, Bollinger. Bollinger boy. Well, he's a Bollinger's a champagne, yeah. isn't it? But is it the Bolling, Bollingdon I think it was, club. Yeah. And apparently it was like, you know, they were known for burning £50 notes in front of homeless people, yeah. you know, just to fucking have a laugh. <laughs> Funny so, you know, enough, these are the people. Hired. These are the fucking people who are in charge of our country. And to be honest, it's like, you know, when it's cookie cutter, 
all been in the same club, all yeah. been in the same uni, all been in the same sort Lock of after your pals. licky bum bum gangs. Yeah. Do you know? Then I wouldn't be surprised that they're all the fucking same people. With, you know, that are in power every two every two minutes. It's I think like they're going to end up change. having a shock. I think they're going to end up having a we need big a shock. Etch a sketch, shake up, guys. That's we, what we need. We so yeah, but I'm not. Don't want to keep man. ranting on. But yeah, I mean, it was just the fact that there was the the, the conference here in Manchester, and the guy yeah. didn't make any sense. He didn't, didn't actually do Manchester have, any good. He didn't have a fucking clue what he was talking about no, um no. you know level up even though he, he's uh on party behind him are trying to you know oh, well you what know do it? this do that and he's he's, he's taking on of it but well what we'll can see we what do? happens yeah um, bring in an election come on let's go vote someone else in but then again who do you vote in? exactly Instead, that's what i'm saying because no i mean i think um the, you know in terms of like you know the opposition they should be more pissed off at the fact that you know uh, that this is actually going on but they're not yes yeah, yeah they seem there's, to be there's literally no sort no of competition com- there's no competition no, and there's no. literally you know it's this or nothing yeah uh, you know or a weak, a weak party that's not prepared to fight yeah for the people or a party that's just prepared to take and take and take and leave you yeah, with yeah. It and yeah. without anything. Give you a little so, crumb you know, here and there to just... Um, you know, is it a time you? for, you know, a new way of doing things, potentially? Uh, is you it? know what? I've, yeah, I think I think it is. I mean, look, Rome was... It took ages to build Rome, but it, it, it come down in one day. Crumbled, it could be it? easily come down uh, uh, beyond these people who are uh, in charge, but it just takes the people to... Which we don't really want, but if they keep pushing the well, way they're going, they're going to get that. it's one of those things, isn't it? I mean, it was like, look at back at the 80s, where yeah. it was like, you know, people rioted for a lot less. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. in terms of the way, that we, that, the, way. the way that we have to live these days, yeah. I mean, it's like, you know... We're losing far too much anyway, power where we, we, we did have it in the first we, place. We, we, could, we could go on all night about could, this, but... We could. Frustration, frustration. Um, yeah, we've got a lot lot to get through in we the have, show tonight. We have indeed. Um, we've got some... Uh, what, anything else you've been up to this week? Um, just just looking into um, uh, other phenomenons and, um, like, you know, just learning little bits here and there on things. I, d- I learned quite a, quite a few things this week, actually, but... As we're talking right now, I've, I've got most He's of them. Forgotten. Yeah, I've forgot most anyway, of them, but well, it was interesting. Well, it's um, October. It is, so indeed. you know what it that is means. October, yes, yes. Spookiness, it spooky is vibes, very spooky, and um, spooky time. You know, ghouls, goblins, spectres. Yeah, all yeah. the good stuff will be um, haunting our nightmares as well as fueling our podcast topics oh, for the next couple of weeks. Yes. Got some absolute perlers. We have. Tonight's going to be uh, no exception. Like I said earlier, we're going to be talking about haunted dolls tonight, which is mint because there's so many. Yeah. 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 And all different. All different. Yeah. Yeah, But all have one theme in common that there's a bit of possession going on. Yeah, there's definitely something going on, but every case has its own merits. Indeed. uh, You're after listening out for what? Uh, it, 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 well, um, you know, one thing I will say yeah. is you're not going to want to miss it. No. Um, we've got a bit of um, announcement uh, yeah. this week's episode, all through the month of October, and um, oh. we're going to be um, supported and brought to you by Manscaped. Yes, the people who come and shave your balls. Exactly. Manscaped uh, are the best um, at below-the-waist grooming. Definitely. And, um, you know, even around Halloween... These werewolves, oh, they need yeah. a good trim. They do, yeah. they do, they do. And what else is going to be good for, um, you know, that indeed, which, you know, you need a good precision engineered tool for that. Oh, yeah, indeed. If you're going you to be, gonna be shaving fellas, a werewolf. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, that's it. That's or it. your, your sure. werewolf areas, then, you know, you need a good trimmer. And uh, Manscaped have launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. It's mint, man. Right it's across mint. the world. Yeah, well, right across Europe. Yeah, uh, firstly. Yeah, yeah right. But then the world will will receive it. First, we take Europe. Yes, we take then Europe. We take first. the world. Yes, we're the conquerors. Well, the 4.0 the is bollocks. available. Uh, join over two million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with their That's a lot uh, of never men. regions. That's a lot of hairy bollocks, that. And um, we're going to help you level up in the downstairs department by offering you twenty percent off oh, um, yes. plus free worldwide shipping. If you use the code NASAPod at manscaped.com. Go for it and you won't have no problems with them hairs again. Those hairy beasts. Yes. Two million men, man. There's a lot of hairy men. There's one. He's, uh, he's been shaven and he's all fresh. 
and You're ready for the ladies. Ready the party tonight. To be honest, though, yeah, I do like um, the Manscaped products because yeah. they've got like the ceramic quite, blade, which really means quality one stuff. thing that I kind of have problems with when I used my old razors yeah. um, was nicks and pinches. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. this yeah. totally relieves that because yeah. you've got a ceramic blade. It's absolutely cl- smooth as anything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. You know, S- smooth as a baby's arm. Not then. only that, but. If you go for the performance package, you'll get um, the ball toner. Yes. Um, the deodorant, which is really good because, you know, if you nice do... Nice kind of, I do a lot of bike riding, yeah. so it's kind of like you get a bit kind of sway and, you know, it's like... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, and it warms the area wait, up what, as well, nice and... It's got a nice tingle yeah, to it. Yeah, I, see, I, I admit, really, I do like well, it. Well, there you go. Um, you can take our word for it. We've yeah. tried it. Manscaped.com. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, use NASA pod at the checkout. 20% off plus free worldwide shipping. It's worth it. Can't get fairer than that. No, no you can't. You well, can't. moving Definitely. on with the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, haunted so dolls, right? We have haunted, haunted dolls. dolls. Mm-hmm. So, first, you got one. Mm-hmm. I've got loads, right? So, first, I've, in fact, I've got a whole island full. Yes, you have, right. haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, uh, could it be just one island? Then? Well, actually, no. These, mm. But then, well, these are legit island of the dolls, yeah. haunted doll island. But yes. there is also a fake. Yeah. <laughs> See. Now the problem is people go into Doll Island yeah, yeah to to find the dolls yeah, are, um you know they're being taken to the fake one by the 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 boat guys yeah because like obviously tourism is tourism yeah. it's like whoever's getting you know who's got the best deal if the guy on the yeah. landowner is going here I'll bring him here and I'll make it worth your while yeah, then obviously the right. canal boat guys are going to be yeah. taking them to the fake one yeah. or it could be the fact that it's so popular that they created the fake one to preserve the real one. So well, yeah, yeah, there is that fact as well, yeah. So, if you don't know what it is, the Island of the Dolls was originally owned by Don Julian uh, Santa and Bar... Um, is it Barria? Yeah. Um, it's full of dolls hanging from trees, buildings all over Freaking the island, um, covered in cobwebs and insects. Yeah, even um, cracked open chests and stuff. The, the island itself was created during the 1950s when the owner began to hang dolls around the island to protect off evil spirits. Um, uh, the alleged story goes, according mm. to the legend, that there was a young girl who drowned um, ne- near his island just yeah. off the off the banking um, of the canals. Uh, he found the body and was basically tra- traumatised by it. So he, yeah. in order to kind of... I think that night he said that he was hearing voices and whispers and, and a girl crying. Yeah, and in so, order to keep the uh, cry, uh, crying down. Yeah, he put, put he up put a, up a doll as a sort of peace offering yeah, to the spirit, yeah. and Obviously he said took it. that ever since then he just kind of like carried on putting up dolls, and it got to the point where people would be arrive at the island and they'd put up dolls, and it became a phenomenon. Yeah, yeah so the yeah. the. Obviously, this came down to a, a girl who died, and obviously, it's quite tragic circumstances. Yeah, oh, definitely. Um, in 1987, the Eco Tourist um, Board, so they basically said it was made the um, island um, safer. Yeah, yeah. Basically, said it was, um, you know, obviously because of the death of it, the girl there. Yeah. It was probably because of like water lilies and stuff like that in oh, the area right, that's, okay, that's yeah. got her entangled. Yeah. So I think they kind of went round and did a bit of work there. Make sure there's a bit more safety for, especially if there's loads of people deciding to turn up to have a little. Boy, it's main, people maintain that they hear creepy stuff going on on the island. They've heard, um, there's been reports of um, whispering in the oh, night. All right. Um, okay. Children's laughter and crying. Has he actually caught any of these on uh, video? Well, this is the thing, because he's passed away now, um, J- oh, Don, right. Don Julian. He, yeah. he passed away, and it's actually being run by his family now. Yeah, yeah. So it's one of those islands that, I mean, they still kind of maintain the tourism aspect. Yeah. And I suppose it's one of those places that is so remote. I mean, this is off the canals of Me- uh, Mexico. Yeah, so you'd have to travel a bit. You know, people living on these like patches of land probably yeah. don't have much income no no no, in. no do you know no. what yeah, i mean yeah, so yeah. it'll be a case yeah. of that they'll you know they're keeping they income rely. coming in and keeping i mean it it's alive, a bit yeah. freaky you know obviously these dolls are hanging up yeah. and it's a bit creepy but like you know if people are coming to see them and are paying to see then you know keep adding to show it, yeah yeah you, you know. gotta show it so making do money. you think that this is a case of that this guy was a bit 
like you know just you know grief stricken the fact that he's found a dead body of this young girl and Could have been. it was a case of that he he you know it was his own Immentally. spiritual beliefs that made him put these dolls up do you know as an appeasement or a sort of uh, or a, a mental a health ritual issue offering yeah. or like you say a mental health issue um why well, to be honest it, it it could be either but it, um yeah i would imagine that he, he he's probably never seen a dead body before or something like that and it, it has maybe affected him or even by just i it, i suppose it's a distress order he could have had a distress order and then like a little bit of mental health come in there and like you know he might have thought he heard something and then put it for himself i suppose he could have uh put it for uh to calm him down to make him more happy or, or more um um like uh, at peace that he put them at, he put it out for himself not necessarily for the girl it's funny though because i mean in terms of demonic possession it's yeah. never like you know um it, it's never just possession in terms of like uh, um, a happy go lucky spirit yeah Do you know yeah, why yeah, is yeah. it always seen so why is it always bastard. referred to as demonic possession because <laughs> obviously i mean i mean because they're the have ones we who ever play the tricks have they? we ever had any sort of instances of a, you know um helpful possession or any sort of like you know possession that was actually um a good influence on the the um person well who if, was, the bad, uh, if the bad want to be shown uh i i'm presuming the good will want to be quiet doing their stuff but in the quiet sense of like well i don't need to let you know that i did that for you well, possession itself is obviously taking control over something, yeah. isn't it? Like yeah. rather, you know, in this case, we're talking dolls. Yeah. 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 So I can only imagine that that kind of suggests that a spirit or a entity has... Or energy. Or energy has yeah. taken control over a, 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 a figure. A per in this case, it's almost a humanoid, isn't it? Because it's trying to take possession of a... Of a, a an object an object that's physically similar to human a human body yeah you know yeah I mean? yeah 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 but not necessarily the demon is you know it's not uh uh human like it's just it's it's an object that it knows well, what it so you're saying it could with. potentially not even be a human spirit yeah yeah, maybe, potentially. Maybe. Well, if it's demon, it's evil, then there is potential... Well, that's uh, what I'm saying. I mean, it's like in some cases, um, it doesn't always necessarily have to be evil. Yeah. Um, I found this case, um, which I find really interesting, this one, um, which is a mannequin. Yeah, it's yeah. It's a famous, right a famous one, yeah. mannequin, um, basically in Mexico again. Yeah. Yeah, which seems to be a lot of stuff going, what is that noise? I have no idea. I think I dropped a bollock or something. I have no idea what that is. Right, it's not it's me. Got. Right, anyway. Um, so Mexico, yeah. um, we're being possessed. So we are, I think, I think it is. Mexico um, <laughs> seems to be quite a big place in terms of like you know possession Phenomenous. stories and phenomena yeah, so yeah definitely this is a story of uh, la pascalita yeah which is um a mannequin which was most famous mannequin um in um mexico, mexico. yeah um, is it Chilu chilucha chilucha yeah so um the mannequin first appeared in um, a shop which was called la popular yeah. Okay. Must it was be popular. Wed- it was pretty popular. It was a wedding dress shop. <laughs> right. And it appeared around March uh, 1930. No. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. So the owner of the business basically um, was um, said that they ordered this mannequin from France, but obviously it just appeared in the store. Um, yeah. Now, the funny thing about the mannequin yeah. is it's extremely lifelike, right? Yes. It it's is. got um, glass eyes. And um, it's even been said to have like a waxy sort of skin. Um, yeah, it's so, got so weird, weird. Yeah, that it's even it's so detailed that it's got cracks in the skin where do you know like your the yeah. the lines of the um, you know your hands. Yeah, and but even if it's coming from France, I suppose it, it could be well, like could an artist, have one, yeah. an artist rendition or yeah. an you know very detailed mannequin. Yeah, yeah I totally. Because it could have gone down the road and got but one for would a fiver. Would you? Know? you Go as far as you know. Um, this mannequin has been said to have even faint blood vessels underneath yeah. the surface of the hands. What 
look to be extremely detailed. detailed yeah. Do you know, it's, it, it's above it, too much over and above the and beyond. I don't get why well, you'd yeah, go but for then that, that detail for a shop work. mannequin. Yeah, but for if you, you know, you want, if you're going to have, like, let's say this is the one and only mannequin that uh, this artist is going to make and he wants to make it the best that he could ever do. Of course, yeah. Well, he acor- could go According to that. the legend, from the first day that the Bride of Wax was displayed in the window, yeah. um, everyone stopped to look at it and they thought that basically she had a striking resemblance to the shop owner's daughter, right? Now, she wow. basically died on the day of her wedding. Right, Ooh, that's which not, is a bit, not a good bit day, fishy, is it? isn't it? Right, so yeah. rumors started to surface that people were Someone saying that this mannequin was the hidden body, a very kind of dub, a very double of like the daughter, and started trying to connect the dots to say that this this body or okay. this mannequin that's was a conspiracy star, uh, yeah. a, a very well preserved um, body. Yeah, oh, like fact, you said, the detail right? in so there, the, then you the would mother think was that. so overcome with grief that she she literally got her daughter preserved, embalmed, or something. Yeah, to an extent that she was went a bit over the top. So well preserved that she could literally dress her in the wedding dress and keep her on display in the window for life. So I mean, the fact that that's creepy in itself. Yeah, yeah, but added to that. The fact that there's been countless reports of people saying that the um, bride is looking at them, uh, following them across the um, window as people walk pa- past. These videos. I was going to say of, you showed me a dirty video of that. There's a video. Um, these are several videos, but um, basically, there's um, a video of a young girl. She's looking in the wedding dress shop. Yeah. She's looking, obviously, looking for a wedding dress for her yeah, it was wedding. A nice dress. And the eyes of the mannequin shift and look literally down yeah. at this girl yeah. and then sort of shift back. Yeah, now, yeah, you could say that that But the eyes are been... weird, though, if you look at yeah, the, the eyes. Yeah, the eyes are so realistic. Yeah, yeah, they are proper, um, like, detailed. Could you say that, like, this was a spirit or maybe that it was a possession or could you say that it was maybe clever editing? I'd say it's either one of two things. Go on. One... The Come artist, on, the artist is like you know top notch. He he did a, a very well performance job on it, and he could make the eyes move. You know, what well, I mean? nineteen thirty. I mean, animatronics weren't quite there yet. Hey, were yeah, they? All right, um, he's a time travel. He's a time travel. He's come back and he's like, you know what? Inside that mannequin's going to be so. Maybe even the DNA of that mannequin is going to be so important so for apparently the, the wax I'm finish wax was it. the best that anyone had mm. I've yeah, seen it's, because it's, it's so detailed yeah. um, obviously with the veins and it just looks alive if it weren't um, for the colour you would know you well no but I mean it's, it's it over uh, you know a hundred years old or, yeah, you know it's the, it's, yeah. well, it's getting there isn't it so yeah. I mean it's quite old um, do you not think stood in a shop window would decolorize even if it was a real person and it was well it depends you know, on the, the coating I mean like the coating of it is like it's sort of yeah it, it, yellowish wouldn't it it's sort of look like Homer Simpson well no that no it's kind of pasty I find I think it just looks a bit pasty but again mm. standing in a, a shop window with sort of the elements Fade, yeah, but you'd you look after fade. it, wouldn't you? Especially if it's one of them that you know there's something special you'd, about. Oh, you'd look after it. Yeah, you? well, you know, you get, you know, give it a brush down and that. You know, make sure the eyes are working so you can scare the customers and keep them coming. Yeah. So the reason, what, but, but one thing she, what I will say is mm. that how she died, the bride. Yeah. Because yeah, obviously she did die on a yeah, wedding day, what, and what, it was what, what actually happened. She was stung by a black scorpion. So hold on, hold on. Whether that had some sort of, um, you know, in terms of the, you know, embalming or preserving, because obviously scorpion poison. I mean, I'm not 100 percent on this, but I mean, would that have paralysed? Could paralyse someone? Sort of could it, certainly. But there's a, there's a big uh, myth on uh, like uh, how many scorpions does how many the, scorpions uh, does it take to change kill. a light bulb? Uh, yeah, there are a, a number of them out there, but there's uh, a lot of them. Like, it's just going to be like, you know, a few days pain and stuff like that. It's not going to kill it. But then again, it, it could be down to her genetics as well. She might have had an heart problem and it's, you know, affected the heart. And 
you know, pump uh, stop the pumping. Well, whether whether the legend is true or not, obviously La Pascalita is um, easily the most lifelike and detailed uh, yeah. mannequin around. Yeah. Um, which does give credence to the um, the the legend. Um, she's known as being the most beautiful bride in Mexico. Well, yeah. So yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. but you um, know what? I'd drill its finger or something. Do you know Just what? Actually, someone said that, you know, chop its head off or, you know, no, like, you know, far. but no, but that is a great point because it if is. it is a body and it's been preserved, then then you're going to get a bit you're of, gonna get a bit of evidence, that, aren't yeah, you? It will, yeah. depends how well it preserved it's been. I mean, obviously in yeah, terms right. of taxidermy, yeah, yeah, yeah like, right. you know, you can make a, 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 hey, a badger, a better badger, you can make a badger look like a badger, yeah, yeah, right, but if you cut that badger open, there'd probably only be straw and sawdust inside, you know what I mean? Yeah, you'd hope. You'd hope, yeah, yeah you'd exactly. Hope, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, in terms of, you know, well, that could be the same as thing. Well. It That's could be the thing. same. It could be. I'm not even joking. It could be taxidermy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, on that, uh, you, you still your body's going to decompose with. In, yes, inside, but that's what I'm saying. In taxidermy stance, though, they they do, they anticipate that and that's why they remove all the gory shit and yeah. they pack it full of sawdust and all sorts like fluff. You know, it's oh, like, so you reckon that they might have like chopped? That's through, why I'm saying a bit that of a back I out think like they might have then. like emptied her out yeah. and filled her back up in a taxidermy <laughs> way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's why the, the might skin, be gold, you know, the skin and the um, blood vessels in yeah, the hands it stayed in the print. Yeah, yeah, and on the, the outside and yeah. would also be a really good reason for the glass eyes. Yeah, that, do you know what yeah, I mean? Because true, yeah, in yeah, terms yeah. of like, you know, yeah, because it won't be still like yeah, well, working obviously. after hundred years. <laughs> like the, the body's already decomposed and gone. Well, and the what brain, was, what, what was the that? I mean, what, there was um, um, uh, another one, wasn't there? Like there was um, uh, uh, the body of a um, a guy who in, in a university. I remember was talking about it a long time ago, and it was a preserved body. Yeah. And it was used in basically students were pranking with it, and it ended up being locked away. But um, I'm pretty sure we talked about it. Well, yeah, we can't remember. Yeah. Well, the, the only way to find out is go and listen to our. You've just got to listen to all of them. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> and so you'll, you find you'll it. See it there. Yeah. So um, and I'll try and find us. out what it is and tweet yeah. about it. But um, yeah, it's, you'll probably know. Um, yeah. Any yeah. any that you found um, yeah. creepy doll stories? Oh yeah, well I found uh, uh, an island in Japan. Another island? Yeah, yeah, surprisingly. I think this is the only, like, the third island uh, I, I've heard of that actually has got cut all these dolls. And it's, what is um, it with dolls? Well, there's a, the, I think this one's a pretty uh, nice story, really. Um, it's uh, a little village. There's uh, four islands off uh, Japan, and it's the, uh, the quietest one, basically. A, lo- a lot of people who were born there uh like um uh go to japan uh or stay there basically the central japan so um it's this place called uh naga row i think that's like yeah, it, come on. it's spelled yeah. n-a-g-a-r-o um right, and okay. basically um one year basically everyone apart from the old people left because there was nothing, you know, going on there. They needed to, you know... We ain't even got a disco. We, yeah. Where's the, you know the post I mean? office is closed five days a week? And then... There's nothing um, going on around here. One of, uh, uh, one of the lady's fathers died, so she's come back to look after her father, uh, father's property and stuff like that and found that there was only, a, I think, seven people there in this whole village. Really? So yeah. well, literally everybody in the village had just abandoned it? Yeah, yeah, it. abandoned it, basically. So what she had done is uh, she made a doll uh, of a father. But then after that... I can that, see where you're going with it. She, she made repopula- another doll. She repopulated yeah, the town, basically. Didn't she? Yeah. And literally everywhere you go... She still lives there now. But everywhere she, you go, like the bus stop, full of people. So would you say any of them are haunted? Has there been any accounts of like people saying that there's any eerie shit yeah, going on? Has there been like any sort of movements uh, movement? and stuff like that? And st- like you're saying, like little whispers and like yeah, the the general stuff of you know. But I think it's like uh, within all of them, not like like the or maybe just the odd one because there's there's a few reports there, but not everywhere. Yeah, oh, yeah, man. I suppose that's the thing, isn't it? I mean, it's not always all of them. It would just be a case of one out of 
Um, yeah, maybe. In fact, I was 50. watching um, a video earlier, and there's an adoption agency out of Oklahoma, I think, they operate. Right. And uh, basically, they, they gather haunted dolls oh, right. all okay. into the same place. I think they've got um, a, they've got a website Wise called selection. The Dollhouse, which has live streams nice of idea. them, um, you know, but you can adopt them. So people, you know, who are having problems with haunted dolls, they can send them to the dollhouse and they will rehome them. And they like it. They love the whole attitude of, you know, if you're loving towards the doll and the spirit, yeah. they will be the same back. Yeah. Well, and yeah, yeah. If you feed the negativity and you feed the, the, the sort of, like, um, anxiety and uh, da- ba- bad energy. Yeah, it's going to yeah. bring the power it's on It's going to take advantage of that yeah, and, totally. you know, like, take the piss, yeah, if you like. that's what it wants at the end of the day. It wants you frustrated. Talking about, like you were saying, about Japan, hmm. um, I found this story from Singapore, right? Okay. Now, this is the blindfolded doll. Yeah, right? Oh, so this is yes. weird, this one, right? So um, there's... It's known as the blindfolded doll, right? right? And now this was found at the side of a road in Singapore, right, with a blindfold covering its eyes. Freaky yeah. on its own. Now, it was said that the doll was moving all by itself. Yeah, it turned its head from side to side and even it was heard speaking in a woman's voice. What? But the reason why the doll was blind- blindfolded is because it said that if... The only way you could get rid of it, mm. yeah, right, because it kept coming back, was if they would the the previous owner for it was basically saying that I couldn't get rid of it. I was I was throwing it out. Okay. It was reappearing at my house. No matter how far I got took it, yeah, it I'd always back. come back. Yeah, right. So the idea was that the only reason how you could get rid of this this um, doll was by yeah. taking it literally as far away from your home as possible, yeah. right? Uh, blindfolding it so it didn't know where it was. Yeah, <laughs> right? nice and yeah. tight so it can't move. It's it. like literally what you do to uh, anyone you want to get rid of. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, like drive them far, far away, blindfold them, Drop them off spin, them, station, spin them around a couple of times so they lose the yeah, bearings. Go that way. Now, the blindfold, um, when it was found in Singapore, yeah. was said to actually have um, Arabic writing across the blindfold. Oh. Um, basically Ooh. translating to something like um, God help us or God save us. Or something oh, so like that. Trying to use the spirit force of trying to. Uh, uh, well, trying to basically get, a protection. Yeah. Um, they've, but I mean, the fact that it was Arabic writing and the fact that they'd gone as far as Singapore to get rid of it. Yeah. You know, it's quite. It says a lot, doesn't it? Why don't it? you just put a cross on it? Why don't you, you know ring him I mean? and tell him? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't need to ring him. You can listen to the show. And well, this is the thing, you see, because it. this is that. Um, I mean, in terms of like cr- putting a cross on things yeah. and and you know making them safe, a lot of these dolls do end up in cases with um, you know a cross Crosses on yeah on yeah, the case. They're heavily like soaked in holy water. Yeah, blessed. It's a like lot. Fort Knox. I mean, um, we watched a video earlier. I mean, obviously, yeah, we, we talked did, yeah. about Annabelle at the head, at the front of the show. Yeah, um, Annabelle probably get into at some point in the show. But yeah. the there was a video we watched about them transferring Annabelle from one case, which was the case in yeah. the museum yeah. where, where she's housed, um, which is an occult museum um, in the states. A lot of work. Man. Now the they had to literally have a reverend or somebody who'd been blessed they yeah. had you know soaked the hands in holy water yeah. said the lord's prayer yeah. saint james's prayer all yeah. these things in preparation to literally move a doll from one case to another, to another. that is it yeah yeah to a movable case to a movable case because they wanted to take it, it out on the case. road well, i don't know you know what i mean it'd be much easier it would save that like nice little space in the corner as well so you can just pull it out whenever you've taken it away and then put it back yeah and you put it back so Wow, yeah, I think yes. I think in terms of like you know um, this this whole protection yeah. against anything untoward that's possessing these dolls is a bit kind of like one of those well, things, the, isn't yeah, it? Where you you need to take thing. precautions. Yeah, this is the thing. Uh, it must be working because there's um, p- 
people out there who, who've actually done, you know, like um, said uh, the Lord's Prayer and like, you know, holy water and did all, you know. Yeah, we're in the exorcist. exorcist kind yeah, of but that's stuff a film. Dope. It's heavily sort of like, you know. No, but they do do it to uh, objects as well. You see, there are people out there who will do that for I've objects. got this book, right, and um, like it, it, it's basically um, supposedly the book that priests and reverend, uh, priests get yeah, 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 to yeah, perform yeah. exorcisms. It's yeah. called Ex, um, possessions and exorcism yeah, yeah right um, it's, they even wrote a book about they it did, they did so write a book work. about it you can find it on, I'm pretty sure you can find it in places but it's pretty rare yeah, yeah. so um, I'll I'll try and post some bits about it or ask at a some father point. or a, um, a priest I think there's a bit more to it than exorcist would make you believe do you know I think and 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 you've got to be thankful as well because we were talking earlier about like you know what would you wouldn't you just burn these dolls get rid of it try and just yeah, disintegrate yeah. it yeah. so it's not in your life anymore especially if like this Singapore doll where well, yeah. you know the blindfolded doll you keep taking it away it keeps reappearing in your house yeah right well you don't want you that. need that's that needs you know taken out of the equation really mm. doesn't it but Very the fuck up. is it better that if there is a demonic spirit, uh, yeah, attached to this, or a spirit in general attached to this doll, yeah, by burning the vessel, aren't you opening it up? So yeah, you go I mean, somewhere it, else? yeah, where, I totally where, agree. Where, I where's it going to go say, next? Yeah. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, are you opening you? yourself up for something worse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? And look, evil loves fire. <laughs> you fire. know what I mean? You might as well freeze the fucker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, evil loves fire because you know he's. Uh, you heard you know, it here Mr. first, guys. Mister Devil likes it. You know what I mean? Moloch said, "Bang, they are. Here's your evil. There stick you go. it in yeah, the fire. You, yeah, stick it in the fire and set everything up. So come on, give us a give us a creepy story. Thrill me. Thrill ya. Uh, I did hear one about uh, the a mask. You, okay. You, um, uh, there's a, a story of a woman uh, called Anne who they named Anne because he never knew uh, her actual name in France um, found in the river in France oh in yeah you were telling me about this this is yeah. really interesting I, 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 yeah this is one of the things that uh, I know uh, it's none uh, of your stories have been haunted though <laughs> come on crack well they've had a little haunting <laughs> in there on, <laughs> and the freaky <laughs> yeah freaky indeed come on um, so yeah this uh, um, uh, woman was found in 1800 basically um, and they never knew who she was but she uh, did basically did a cast of a face and uh, was showing it around so the places. cast they did because they were trying to identify this yeah because it was a it was a massive puzzle back then uh because don't forget there would have been a lot less people uh and like when people go disappearing there'd be a bit more people bothered about it and reporting it and stuff like this not like today not <laughs> like today no you can get one down the road and it'd be like oh i never knew um but uh yeah so i found out that mask had been the most kissed mask in the world and right. the reason why is because um these cpr dolls that's her face anna yeah. anna the cpr anna. doll yeah. was modeled on this french, french v- murder victim teenager if you like yeah that's crazy. Yeah, I thought it was crazy as well. I don't you think? It, don't that. you find no, it no, weird no. that it, these a lot of these stories are, um, originate with um, a woman drowning? Which is quite quite fucking yeah 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 weird in itself yeah. Um, what so, happens when the men drown? I know. Nothing yeah, we really don't get much. Any, yeah, we, we don't, don't get, get nothing. Yeah, we just get. Us. Oh well, we've got plenty of them. So, so you're basically saying, so the if you've ever done CPR, yeah, you've the, kissed Anne, the yeah. face of the um, Avani, yeah. is this French lady. Yeah, don't French it because it was a teenager. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> a fair teenager. enough. Well, I know we said we would talk about um, Annabelle. Yeah, and obviously, so like I Annabelle. mentioned at the beginning of the show, um, you know, Annabelle's probably one of the most famous haunted dolls. Yeah. Um, yeah. Responsible for, um, you know, the character based on the doll in the uh, Conjuring universe or Conjuring franchise. Yeah, I've, um, I've never seen it, but I've seen the doll. I have a bit seen different the from the films, because obviously the doll in the films is made to look a bit really freaky. She looks more like a marionette, you yeah, know, like yeah. one of those sort of like faces of a porcelain sort of marionette face. Yeah, yeah, with the red cheeky roses. Cheeky rosy yeah, they're, cheeks. Yeah, they're the When ones. in fact, Annabelle was actually a Raggedy Ann doll. Yeah, mass produced, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Sold all over the America. You know, there was loads of kids who owned Raggedy Ann dolls, but this particular Raggedy Ann doll loads of was demonic, yeah. right? So according to uh, the Warrens, who were paranormal investigators, um, probably some of the first major mainstream paranormal investigators, yeah. um, the way they tell it is um, that a student nurse was given the doll back in 1970, and they were said that the doll was um, acting strangely, behaving oddly. Um, so much so that, you know, the the roommate of the nurse, who yeah. was also, you know, she was also a student nurse. Right. She felt like, you know, there was something weird about it. And also how her roommate started behaving. So okay, yeah. it was almost like she had got this sort of really strong attachment to the doll. So much so that she was bringing it to meals. Yeah. Ooh, she was bit. sitting it down. At the at the table, yeah, and they were having meals together. It was a bit of a what, weird she feeding setup. it and stuff like that. And I'm not sure. Well, they weirder. named it Annabelle, right? Now, well, over the um, you know, months, yeah, this doll ended up causing so much stress, um, not only to the two young ladies, yeah, um, who were finding the doll was moving on its own, Ooh. supposed to have attacked them, yeah, and they were leaving notes. It was leaving it was notes. Leaving yeah, notes. seriously, it was leaving notes so next right to the now. doll, yeah. right, saying like "help me" or you know "let, let me out" and all this type of really oh. sort of bizarre stuff. Mm, obviously, oh, yes. it's, it's exhibiting malicious and frightening behaviour. Yeah. At this point, obviously, the Warrens who were investigating it said that they moved in to make first cut with a bit of contact with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, they claim that they saw the doll move. Okay. After they took all, they took it. Right, they got it out of the possession of the young girls and they moved it to their museum, which is an occult museum, yeah. um, which we were talking about earlier, where they kept it in a box, which was literally um, a glass case yeah. Yeah. with um, the cross sign of the cross the and top. heavily blessed. Yeah. Even yeah. Yeah. still, after all those precautions, the doll was seen to be moving of its own free will in the in the uh, case. So you're say, basically saying what... Precautions they did, did it ain't really worked apart from she hasn't escaped, but that might be her choice, not theirs. Well, they say as well that I mean, the doll was actually um, could have been like um, possessed by you know, like a young, a young girl or you know, a young okay. child. They don't know though, because like I say, it's such a an odd case and it's gone down as being one of the most um, you know, haunted yeah. dolls. But we do have dolls that are considered hmm. a lot more haunted than Annabelle. Okay, believe like it who? or not. And um, well, we'll be getting into that into oh, the show. But yeah. Um. So, what do you reckon to Annabelle? Do you believe? I mean, obviously, do you believe what's what the whole story is? I mean, it's been um, looked at by you know universities, professors, religious studies. Um, you know, skeptics alike. Yeah. Uh, the Warrens have got a great reputation in terms of the paranormal, um, yeah, and yeah. obviously the museum itself is stacked full of sort of you know, you know, doll size Halloween junk, all yeah. that sort of stuff. But I mean, obviously Annabelle's a legend, and she's basically well, yeah, she's a big marketing um, tool, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Um, but you know, this has kind of sparked off a lot of other things, like you know, Chucky. You know, oh, the yes. Conjuring yes. films, like we said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, there's a lot of incidents powerful, where, you know, people have taken that concept of a haunted doll and, you know, used it Put in it popular culture. Stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, even yeah, now. Cause... Even now at the moment, I'm watching What We Do in the Shadows and, you know, there's a there's a, a, a doll in that that was a ghost that possessed a doll and now is a recurring character. Okay. You know, when they, it's like, you know, the idea of, um, you know, possessed dolls hmm. is not a new thing and the no. idea that you know it does kind of make you think more about like that connection between body and the spirit because it's like well are the two two separate things that can you know attach to another sort of humanoid or object or doll or anything like that well i'd that, say religion know? would automatically say yeah uh, that they can attach to you um uh, they can uh, empty you i suppose 
and uh, knock you out and attach to you. Well, it's funny actually because I mean, there's there's yeah. actually um, stories of possessed possessed dolls that yeah. do kind of cover you know multiple spirits. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So um, yeah. the. Yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah, he's, um, the Caroline, the most haunted, who's down, as basically says that she's the most haunted doll. There's a lot of them. Caroline, sweet Caroline. Caroline. So Caroline was um, possessed, but also believed to be haunted um, by evil. Yeah. Uh, this doll was basically, um, you, you can find it now, it's being housed in um, an antique shop in Massachusetts. Ah. And he's said to be haunted not just by one spirit, but by free ghosts. Free spirits. Free spirits. In one. And they're all fighting over the right to control it. Well, if you if one spirit can like fuck up quite a few things around you and you know, make you shit yourself, what the fuck free are gonna do? Well free spirits free all must kind be of, more that's more that's scarier. like paranoid that's a schizophrenic doll in terms of like multiple split personality yeah. and, and you know, depending which Entities in control of the doll. I suppose mm. that would depend on you know what's that film? Um, you know, um, you know, split, oh, you know the one with um, S- uh, split in it. Split. split. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sort yeah, of thing where what... it's like you know you've got it's the unbreakable fr- uh, universe, yeah. isn't it? But it's like you know this this who's in charge at the time. Yeah. Um, almost kind of dictates the behaviour it's going to um, present, oh, you know, yeah. sort of display. So in this instance, Caroline's said to be haunted by three ghosts, each fighting for control uh, to control it. Yeah. People say if you hold the doll close to your ear, you'll hear it whispering to you. Yeah, you believe that? Don't know. I mean, I've never came across anything like this in mm. terms of like, you know, yeah, somebody, it's usually one, somebody's isn't it, really? brought an object and said, this is a haunted doll. And if you, you know, if you, if you sit it there, it'll do something weird. And I've never been in the, in a room or an environment where I've had to deal with that. Yeah, so yeah, 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 I can't yeah. say. We did have a guest. One way or another. I know we did. We have had guests yeah. who, who have haunted objects, haunted dolls. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's, that's great. But I mean, it's like, I've never seen it with my own eyes apart from on YouTube. Yeah. So yeah. You'd like to have that sort of feeling to be in its presence and to know how it's not that just makes the sight of it, it's the feeling exactly, and the, the exactly. area, the smell, the uh, the current around you, the energy. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I can, I can totally understand. So, that. I mean, there's one, um, Robert, Robert the the, doll, the haunted doll. Have you heard of Robert? No, I've never heard of Robert. So, Robert, um, basically was owned by a young lad called Robert Eugene Otto. Okay. Or Gene, yeah, as he liked to be called. Right. Um, when he was a young boy in the early 1900s, his family um, gave him, I think rather, I think his grandfather or something like that, gave him this doll. Right, right. okay. So it's an old doll then? Pretty old, but I mean, it was a straw-filled doll. Yeah, so it yeah, was yeah. Um, pretty kind of, I wouldn't like to say it was like a, a, a Barbie modern style doll. It was the 1900s. It was pretty kind of basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah but it was life-size. Yeah, yeah okay. right? So yeah. yeah. Gene loved this. Yeah, he loved it. He'd take it everywhere. You yeah, know, he'd dress it up. Mate. It was his best mate. Yeah. yeah, right? Now, after a while, his parents started getting a bit concerned because they were like, hang on, who's Robert talking to upstairs? You know, and they okay. kept hearing the occasional word coming out that weren't Robert. Yeah, it was somebody else in the room with him. And they'd go in, right. they'd be like, who are you talking to? Yeah. And Robert would be like, point at the doll right yeah but could, surely couldn't it be like because kids do this like, well, yeah you like know, putting voices into their, the toys yeah, 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 yeah i mean i used to do that with me actually yeah figures. i did be like, yeah. rah, 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 and you yeah. know giving it all that you know but i can totally see where you're coming from on this yeah. um but no he maintained it was robert who was speaking okay. right yeah um a couple of months go by the activity started to increase and one right. night they were shocked because they woke up to hear a total ruckus going on. Oh, and right. They've run out. out into the into the child's room. Now yeah. this is a kid, so they were like, "Is that child being abducted? Yeah, is there something like going on? What what the hell's going Aliens. on?" So they've run into the room, and the room is a mess. Yeah, there's t- literally Shit, furniture tipped those? over. The room looks like it's been ransacked. Right, Shit. shivering in the corners, young Robert. 
Yeah. Whoa. They're like, what's going on? Why is the room immense? Why is like everything been turned over? And Robert just points at the doll and said, it, the, doll the doll did it. Yeah, Robert the doll did yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously these these signs this, that this this yeah, doll is evil it's misbehaving it's mischievous or he is a town you know psycho um so this went on for a while he, but he wouldn't give it up he'd take it everywhere and you know he was kind of obsessed with his his best mate yeah right? it sounds like he needs medical help man. so life goes on robert actually moved around he went to university he moved to france where he met his wife um, oh, right. to be okay. yeah. he ended up moving in with his wife yeah? yeah so as you do when you move into a new home you you start thinking right well i've got to get all my stuff so he's gone to his parents house yeah yeah and gathered up some bits and pieces as yeah you do. He took it all back to his house mm -hmm. right and um he started to get this unhealthy possession um healthy sort of thing about the doll again right to the point right. where his wife was like come on you're not you're not keeping that yeah. you're not keeping that in the house yeah, send that back to yeah. your mothers you're getting rid of that and yeah. he was like can't we've got, you know it's part of the family sort of thing so <laughs> no, if you're she agreed shoes, that he could keep it as long as he kept it in the loft right now he locked <laughs> the, the loft and he'd go in and to see it what on yeah. his own on his own he'd go upstairs go and visit the doll and all the rest of it and he was like a bit like psycho now yeah it was a bit but like the weird thing was it was up in the loft, and people who'd visit the house would yeah. say they heard footsteps and moving around up above him. Yeah, right. Well, well, he was downstairs. Coming from the loft when there was no one else up there, yeah, apart from Robert the doll. Mice. Right. Could have been. Could have been. I mean, I like the, the fact that you, you know, you're using your logical thinking there, but I'm, yeah. obviously this is the this is the reports from the people who yeah, witnessed oh, yeah, it, yeah. right? Yeah. So they claim that they there's something else is going on. There. They heard footsteps up, yeah. up in the loft, right? Other reports of people passing the house yeah. say that they kept seeing this doll at the window, right? What so it's perching itself at the window and it used to do this at its original house right yeah so okay. much so that people would give it a wide berth people would claim that this doll Freaky was looking out. at them through the window following them with the the, the eyes all the rest of it yeah well, it's not right? just freaking the family it's freaking the neighborhood freaking now. the neighborhood out right at this point right so um robert was like you know kept in the loft or right up until the day otto died right right okay so after a while, obviously somebody else bought the property, I and did. the doll Robert fell into the hands of a new owner. Right? Oh, bad luck! She kept it for a long time, almost twenty years. Oh, yeah, right. to the point where she donated it to a museum, um, with the sort of context that no, this, this doll is definitely haunted. Yeah. Oh, right. So this so is a separate, separate then. person who who wasn't the original owner, but has come to her own conclusions that Robert the Doll is, is most definitely haunted, right? Right. So obviously okay. the museum There's staff were very yeah. sceptical. They took it. Well, like, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. but take precaution. You Until. Know. Oh, no. The museum More. staff started having their own. Um, experience. Yeah, so it's the Far East Museum in uh, K West in Florida, ah. um, where basically um, it started doing its stuff again. Yeah, right. Started acting mischievous, moving Leaving around in the shit case. Around and that. Um, Play funny buggers. Even to the point where people coming to take photos of it, mm. yeah, would find that the cameras would break. Yeah, it cameras would glitch out, but then work perfectly as soon as they left the museum. Ah, yeah. Right, that's, so there was some sort of electro yeah. electromagnetic force yeah. going on there. Um, the weird thing is, right. People who visited Robert in the museum yeah. would find that they would have strings of bad luck. Yeah, from literally the cameras breaking, breaking down in the car on the way home, divorce, illness, so it's losing like the jobs. On them now. Yeah, well, some are, some it's affecting these people with a negative vibe. Yeah, right, a hex, if you like, sort of like a curse. Yeah. Um. So people started writing to Robert the doll, right, asking for forgiveness, saying, "Oh, can you please, you know, take the hex off me?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It's good manners if you do go to visit yeah, Robert yeah, in yeah. K West Be Florida. Careful. 
to ask permission before you take a photo of him. I should think that by now they would have a sign up or something like that. Oh, probably do. Say yeah, like yeah. you know, if you don't want to get or have a bit of uh, bad mojo, then uh, don't take a photo. Apparently, of they get my... about three or four letters a day. A day to rob it, just to rob it. Yeah. Oh shit! I mean, it it must be a good attraction, and it must have a lot well, of people dolls, going. Man. People are just obsessed with the man. Aren't well, they? I mean, yeah, people are uh, 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 obsessed on uh, strange things, but you know, we we'd like we're we're um, a kind of uh, inquisitive kind of species. We like to know what's uh, what's going on. We don't take we don't always take don't stuff take no face guff. value. You know, we need a little bit more than just know. You know, I I seen that. You know I think I mean? it's quite interesting. I think it does kind of ask... I mean, even just the concept of um, a possession in, in terms of, like, an inanimate object, in it's just an inanimate I've heard of object. Jaguar. I've heard of, like, you know, um, objects that were close to people in terms of, like, you know, um, profession or, you know, their everyday life, something they used on a daily basis, yeah, yeah, having yeah. energy. But the, the doll thing, it's almost like taking on another presence another um sort of like uh physicality yeah, but do you, you know think, what i mean do you think that is because uh dolls are supposed to be uh supposed to look human like yeah so it's i putting think it's on because the it's a representation of, the, yeah, of, a human, of, you, yeah. of humanity or sort of like um an effigy of human yeah of it gives like, it that you know, extra spirit of uh, scariness well, and spookiness think about it this way right if you were able to possess something you die and you thinking right i want to be able to possess this i yeah. need to be able to make contact with people to yeah. get a message across <laughs> or whatever you know whatever yeah. your reasons are yeah yeah unfinished business or whatever yeah there's then, always unfinished business you know wouldn't it make sense I mean in terms of possession you could possess a person but that's going to cause problems yeah right well You'd yeah you'd much but, more be inclined to possess something that's not going to kick up a fight you know it's well, not going to yeah, want true. to try and kick you back out or be you know anything yeah, but, like that and plus you want limbs you know, you want to be able to move about. It's no point possessing a fucking football, is it? I mean, yeah, or true. But then, is it a, a point of uh, that the uh, the a person whose spirit is gone into it that it's in limbo, and it's the reason why it's actually doing all this naughty stuff because it wants attention, so you can actually go. That's a uh, that's somewhat it could weird. Be. Call the church. Let's get it. The uh, uh, you but know. Also, it could be the fact that you know it, it is an attention thing. But I yeah. mean, how much? I mean, as I a, as a floating entity that's got no presence to um, something that can now physically move, touch, and you know, like walk. Yeah, yeah. You know, grab, stab, kill, whatever. You know, it's well, like. Well, yeah. It's I don't got... think we've had any murders through it. I mean, some people might have blamed a, a doll or something, but um, I don't think there has actually been. Well, any no, murders. a lot of these dolls have been, there you is... know, reported to have attacked, physically attacked people. Um, oh yeah, there is that. True. Left people true. with scratches, uh, nightmares. True. People have got sick. People have had bad luck. I mean, Heart there was one doll like that, that I was looking into where it was a case of. Um, I mean, this is kind of, um, I'd say circumstantial, really. I mean, it wouldn't be something, that, and it's not a, a story that I was going to really include, but in, yeah. in this context, I'd say that it's relevant, yeah. where one guy, he basically um, bought a doll from a flea market. It ended up falling off a shelf, randomly, you know, fell off a shelf where, yeah. you know, it could have been moved or moved itself. Yeah. yeah. But it... When it fell, it broke its leg, right? Yeah, okay, Por yeah. must have been a porcelain doll, fragile, and it's broke Sounds its like leg, it, yeah. right? A week later, his daughter broke his her leg in the same place, Ooh, right? Coincidence. So, is the co it is a coincidence, yeah. yeah, but, you know, straight away, he's You'd, gone, it's the doll. He thought it's the yeah, doll. Yeah, and got rid. But so, then is I mean, that a way of putting bad mooji into, like... Well, this is the thing, because by... these, the, the dollhouse people, oh, they yeah. say if you kind of acknowledge and love the, the entity and, you know, it's, um you know, it, it'll be fine. Yeah, but you look if after you, it, it'll look after If it. you're kind of scared by it, you're feeding that energy... So it it's to gonna be play with you. more creepy and yeah, do more yeah, yeah. sort of um, weird shit that's gonna freak you out more, which is gonna in turn make it stronger. Well, you know, yeah, so that's that's, that, that's true actually. Um, thinking about it the way you said it, then um, on like the attention, um, like if it it only wants the attention if it's bad, 
But if it's good, like you said, then it'd be just, you know, it wouldn't be doing anything. Really. Well, exactly. I mean, but again, if you've never had a, we've never had seen a case yeah, exactly. here that's like, you know, it was we just... We always look for the bad, not the good of it. It wanted a chat. If we could find the good of it. needed to kind of get a message out or it possessed a doll to kind of, for, for good intention. Yeah. Never, they, no, they always seem to be quite demonic and I don't understand why that is, do you know, but... Um, yeah. Have you got any more yeah. um, creepy stories? I've got one last one. Go for right. Now, this is, you could argue this one as um, a creepy doll or a haunted doll. Okay. But this one is a Tickle Me Elmo doll. Eh? Of all dolls, of okay. all things. I mean, we've yeah. had a Raggedy Ann, well, so why not a Tickle, tickle Me Elmo? Well, yeah, why, why not? Well, this, this was a very popular children's toy. Obviously, everyone loves a bit of Elmo. 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 Yeah. So, you know, when uh, the Bowden family bought the son a little Elmo doll for the yeah. two-year-old, you know, they didn't expect anything funny got you to go on. No, you know, mass-produced. It's a mass-produced yeah. item that should be no different to any other Elmo you buy. Exactly. Right? Now, this Elmo in particular was one of those ones that you could program it to say your kid's name. Oh, you know, I had yeah, a little I inbuilt them, computer, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, it's good. you shouldn't have been able to kind of program it to say anything really apart from the kid's name, and yeah, then it would fill course. in the blanks with its own speech, Do you know, yeah, like yeah, or yeah. phrases or whatever. Elmo you. So after a few days of, the, you know, like um, them having it, yeah. kids obviously played with it a lot, and it needed the batteries changing. Yeah, As you do, yeah, yeah. So they changed the batteries over... Right, and pretty much soon after they did that, mm. the parents heard the doll say something that was a bit weird, right? All right. Now, okay. obviously, it was able to program the name of the son yeah. into Elmo, but that was all that was ever programmed into it. Yeah, the but rest the of it. Elmo actually was heard saying, kill James. Oh, that's... Right? Ooh. So she immediately went to check out the doll, yeah. went to make sure it was normal. Nobody had pre, you know, re-recorded over it or anything. Like it was just it was a the case same of doll. It, it was the same doll. Nothing had happened to it in the in the time of it, it running out batteries. of batteries and them changing the batteries. Right? Go downstairs, get batteries, put them back in. Oh, sweet! Elmo wants to kill me, son. Now, so after a few days, same thing was happening. The mother oh, yeah. thought that she was just hearing things, but however, one of the days the Elmo doll suddenly just out of nowhere, out wasn't even in the proximity of the kid. Yeah, yeah, started singing "Kill James" yeah, over and over again. Yeah, right. The family was so terrified they called Fisher Price. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. It's like, what the um, hell is this? I can imagine how that phone call went. To be honest, obviously yeah. you've got like you know it, not phoning a priest or an exorcist or anything like that. It's like you best get Fisher Price on the phone, yeah. yeah, yeah can I've got demonic weebles, yeah. You I'm, know, I'm gonna give um, myself some money. The problem obviously was wasn't solved. Um, they didn't have a clue what was going on. They returned the doll to Fisher Price, who yeah. did an open investigation. They couldn't find anything wrong, uh, but it was a happy ending because little James was replaced his Elmo. Uh, Fisher Pice gave him a voucher to go and get him a new one. Oh, man. Good. So, good ha- for it. All ends on a happy ending it there, doesn't does. it? It's um, probably uh, 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 so, uh, someone playing about with the computer system. It must could be. be, but do you know, like we were talking about, like, you know, earlier on, before the show, actually, we were talking about, like, those ring doorbells and, you know, other, yeah. um, you know, electronic Wi Fi enabled, um, you know, devices and yeah. how easily they're hacked. Yeah, I oh, mean, yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't expect that a Tickle Me Elmo doll could be hacked remotely. You know, I think it was rather well, a case of somebody's done that, someone's reprogrammed it, or it's a glitch. You know but, what? But there's no way on earth that that computer should know the word kill. Yeah, 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 exactly. But you know, it's crazy that it, it has if, it, been... if it's even programmed into the doll as an Elmo voice, because I can imagine if you program the the doll to say your name mm. is it going to say it in the elmo voice i'm not sure well yeah yeah well well that that is a good point it's actually like, it, hello it is a good james point. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. like you know is it going to be the voice of the person who programmed it i don't know how they work if you've got a bit more understanding or if you've got any um you know um comments or suggests and anything about tonight's topic yeah or please. even if you've got another case of haunted dolls, yes. or even if you own a haunted doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us your story. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Um, send us your a photo experience. because we'd love to see it as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And we'll show everyone. 
So there you go. That's our first of our Halloween style episodes yeah, this uh, this cracking. month. Yeah, cracking. Yeah, haunted dolls there. are mental. Yeah, there is some. Uh, there, there, there is a lot. Of I think I've, dis- I think I've discovered like an unhealthy fascination with these things. I've been literally watching like these paranormal you videos on YouTube till like that's three all. o'clock in the morning. Yeah, Shit, getting chivel chills up my neck. He's in, he's just inquisitive, man. I'm an inquisitive soul. Yeah. So well, we've got to be. Moving on. Yeah. Because I'm inquisitive, I like to, uh, you know, check out other podcasts. Yes. And, um, you know, if we like them... We do. We do a, um, a featured spot. We do indeed. And this week is no different. This week's nope. um, promo is brought to you by the Canadian Spirit Podcast. Yes. Yeah, so hosts uh, Kelly and uh, Darcy um, of the Supernatural Pod- uh, uh, Paranormal Investigation oh, Research yeah. Institute. Ah, Or nice. Spirit as they like to know. Um, basically, explore the supernatural, paranormal, and the downright weird cases in Canada. Uh, using their skills they've honed in paranormal research, uh, the podcast contains adult language and disturbing themes. Ooh, and we've got a promo freaky. for you right about now. Hey, guys. I'm Darcy, founder of Spirit. And I'm Kelly, the chief technical officer of Spirit. Back in 2011... We formed the Supernatural Paranormal Investigations and Research Institute, searching for answers to mysterious things that were happening in our little corner of Canada. And we haven't stopped searching for those answers ever since. Join us on our podcast, Canadian Spirit, as we dive into all of Canada's most famous and forgotten paranormal mysteries. Examine the evidence and try to figure out what might be behind Canada's ghosts, cryptids, and UFO encounters. In Canadian Spirit, you'll get a peek behind the curtain and see for yourself what being a paranormal investigator is really like and learn something about Canadian history, which isn't as boring as it sounds. Even if it is, we're a pair of chuckle fucks, so we'll do our best to make it entertaining. So come along for the ride and discover for yourself what makes the land of maple and hockey so wonderfully weird. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Podchaser, you know, wherever you find your podcasts. And remember, raccoons are aliens, werewolves are perverts, and ghosts are just downright rude sometimes. Well, thanks guys for sending your promo. You can do the same. If you've got a promo, you can send it to us over at nevostraightanswer at gmail.com. And um, yeah, we'll, we can make you featured and um, put... Yeah, bit yeah. Of, bit of info out about you. Yeah. Um. So thank you. Um. Moving on with the show. Yeah. I got some news. Ew, Rob. And without further ado, here you go. It's the news. <laughs> Holy smoly! Uh, smelly moly! We've searched the entire World Wide Web to find you the most outrageous, crazy news that's going on in the world this week. Oh yes. And we would do not disappoint. Um, from, you know, planet Earth, space, and beyond. Yes, beyond. So, um, kicking off the news, I've got this story, which is fucking brilliant. Um, you know, the way, the way it's, um, put across, it sounds a lot more comical than it it actually turns out to be. Um, this is a story of a rogue grandma who broke her bones, um, after sliding and sneaking into a water park at 2 a.m. in the morning. What the hell? Um, a grandma? So, yeah, well, you, this is what I'm saying, because they put her down as a grandma. But, yeah. I mean, she's only, like, what, 46? <laughs> you know, oh, her and a mate um, oh, who right, was 44. Okay. Uh, rogue grandmother who um, broke into an amusement uh, so a water park with yeah. a friend um, ended up breaking their legs, yeah, what? after they um, were drunken. And um, obviously being naughty, going down the slides. Uh, so the UK uh, woman Claire Vickers, who's 46, and her friend Barry Douglas, 44, were stuck in a waterside flume for two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Oh, my days. Well, that's what you get. Fracturing their shins um, and shattered feet uh, before they were rescued. Uh, the pair was stuck in Aldershot Lido Water Park in August. <laughs> So basically, what they've done there is because I was saying, well, like you know, was it the fact that the water was turned off and they yeah. just literally come down it and dry, dry, yeah. yeah. But apparently, they have a block off at the end, so I'm assuming that they've gone down the slide, even with it being dry, yeah, they've been sliding, and yeah, with a bit of pace as well, and ended up 
hitting the block at the bottom, so they probably, you know, shut it off and padlock it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they've ended up being stuck in this flume, couldn't get back out, but I can only imagine the force they hit that with. Yeah, yeah. It was the thing that broke the legs. (laughs) Five, ten mile an hour, it's got to be. So around about that. The drunken duo uh, splashed, um, obviously, oh, water no. down the slide yeah. before they, they did it, so it, to lubricate it for speed. Yeah, you got it, haven't you? So you obviously, I mean? I'm surprised but, but he didn't throw the drink down there. Um, obviously, when they got to the bottom, it was barriered, and um, they both um, broke their legs. to climb back up, really. Just goes to show you, do you know, like, don't be going out doing stupid shit. Yeah, yeah that's right. why they have guards and that exactly. there to, you know, look after if you hurt yourself. So, um, at 3.46am, um, they saw uh, torches um, when the officers came to uh, free them from the water slide. Oh, I bet they idiots. were happy over that. They could have been there for another, what, Hello. at least another four or five I'm hours. I'm stuck in a flume. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm stupid and drunk. <laughs> yeah. have, have you got a drink on you? <laughs> it's, it's nothing but water, water everywhere, yeah. but not a drop to drink. Come on, have you got, uh, have you got a story for me? Uh, yeah, I've got a uh, story for Britain. Um, story for Britain. Oh, yeah, Brit- Britain only, uh, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, this new bleeding uh, outrage. Uh, more, oh, more outrage. The motorists are outraged about this new E10 petrol. Oh, that right, yeah. In September, yeah, which uh, basically they put uh, an extra 10% uh, renewable uh, uh, chemical in there that basically. Is it watering it down? Plastic. Is it watering the petrol? No, it down? damages basically. Yeah, damages no, but your what vehicle. they're doing is they're making the petrol to make it more cleaner to the environment. I'm assuming, and that's what they're trying to do. Is no, they're it adding chemicals. The I understand yeah. that, but their pri- their sort of basis behind it is yeah. to kind of it's it's environmental friendly. I, su- I suppose. Yeah, but you can't use it for a vehicle because uh, whatever you put in its place on the seals and that will only last to a certain degree. Where if you didn't have that fuel and you add it as pure pure uh, petrol, oh, yeah, 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 it yeah, would work. You, yeah, it, there wouldn't be an issue. And the thing is, it's it's forcing people that they're going to end up uh, getting rid of the cars because they won't be able to uh, uh, pay for all, all the mechanical well, to be fair, damage I to mean, them like, and bringing in the electric. I understand what you're talking about now because you've got, like, people still on the roads are still driving, like, yeah, you know, engine, uh, combustible okay. um, engine, yeah. you know, fucking cars, yeah. They're not on electric, but, you know, from the government's point of view, they want more people to turn to electric, yeah. Yeah, and then you put the incentives, not damage. Hundred percent, yeah, right. I under, I totally get where you're coming from, and obviously the Classic car manufacturers car should be only making yeah. hybrids and electric cars yeah. now. Yeah, so stands to reason that there will come a point in the future where that is the the standard and the norm, and obviously petrol stations are starting to put charging stations in and you know um, dedicated fueling up places just for electric yeah but you're damaging uh, i understand what you're talking about you're talking about now yeah yeah. you're talking about your car right now yeah yeah now i understand what you're saying and i totally agree what the government should be doing is rather than um forcing you by putting something in your petrol that destroys your car yeah which just is fucking well, it's vandalism, to me. and we should yeah. be fucking charging them for it. Well, yeah, yeah. As a motorist, yeah, you're going right, to say give that. Give me an electric yeah, car, and I'll is, give you my What car. makes more sense is like um, some sort of part X scheme yeah. where you get yeah. you get a better rate they on an electric car that you know if you hand in your old gas guzzler. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is fair, right? I don't have any argument with that. What you're saying is they're trying to destroy your car in order to make you buy an electric car. Yeah, but it's not only destroying. I'm not thinking that on the uh, the uh, wavelengths of just using it as a car because we have um, films out there, the James Bond car, or you know, old cars that are out there. Oh, classic! Yeah, yeah, classic of course, cars yeah. That are, are valuable as well. I mean, some of these cars are like you know, four or five million pounds, even more. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, every time you're going to go out, you're going to be damaging your vehicle. You know what I mean? So. Uh, that extra price and and they're not cheap, you know. To I reckon. Get the I reckon if you were an owner of a James Bond four million yeah. pound car, I doubt or you'd be Bugatti putting anything or... in it other than top quality petrol. Yeah, but then it 
it's it's finding that petrol. You know what I mean? You're gonna have to go to uh, well, if you know, if, if they have the way, there'll you know, be a point in history yeah. where there will be no petrol to run it. You know, I mean, well, I was looking yeah. into like you know how wait how you can create biodiesels and stuff like that and biofuel yeah, I totally out agree, of yeah. nothing. We can do that then. You, well, you can do yeah. that. I mean, you could. I mean, there's a, a yeah, university. The I can't remember let you, the it? university. It's probably like Lincolnshire or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, but and because it's not taxable, there's a, it's not um, a group of students who have set up a biofuel um, flat um, plant. Yeah, 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 in, yeah. Within the university, and they basically set it up in a shipping container. And they get the oil from chippies and takeaways yeah. and yeah. stuff, and they produce a few fair few gallons of bio petrol, bio diesel, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. right. There's more efficient ways of doing it. Yeah, instead of ruining cars to make yeah. them, you know, make, make people go out and buy the electric you ones, make them go further. See if you with can less. make what we've already got. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's that sort of attitude of. You know the new ones out, so I'm going to go and spend the money. Yeah, it's like yeah. make Not what we've got, got, got last that longer, a bit longer, exactly, and yeah. you know you can. Yeah, get, then we don't have to go and destroy more the planet that way as well. Create newer things. So yeah, we don't need it's a, ba- it's a balance, isn't it? It's a balance, isn't yeah, it? Because exactly, you can, you can, you balance what we have got versus what we're getting in the future. Yeah, exactly. and then try and you know like phase that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's mad the world, isn't it? And what what people say you can and can't do. Yeah. yeah. And um, this story I've got crazy, is um, so it's annoying. This is a story about a woman um, in Canada. Okay. Right? Yeah. Really quite interesting. This and it's got me scratching my head. So basically, this woman's been like feeding bear. feeding bears. Yeah. So she's been feeding bears up to 180 eggs a week. And um, 180 eggs. Where the fuck she getting these eggs well, from? She must have a lot you. of chickens. So, well, basically, um, Canadian officials say that she'll pay for it. Yeah. So, uh, um, okay. every week during the summer of 2018, a woman bought 10 cases of apples, 50 pounds of carrots, and a dozen eggs. Okay, yeah. right. So she's buying from the shop. Food for the bears out of her own pocket. Yeah, hey, fair right. enough. Nature needs help as well sometimes. Um, she's been ordered to pay sixty thousand dollars. What? After the official says she violated the Wildlife Act of British Columbia. Oh, that. Oh, that's. Now, that's the one thing I can't see no, is, I mean, there's nothing there she's been feeding them that's like, you know, not a natural thing yeah. that they couldn't probably find in the wilderness anyway. Yeah, I mean, eggs. Well, like it's carrots, getting difficult for everyone, apples, including animals. Yeah, and obviously, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. You've got to think about. Well, bears notoriously, um, you know, snatching your picnic basket. They <laughs> well, probably yeah. do rely on some sort of, you know, bins. wastage and bins yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. we had a surge of, you know, animals coming into the yeah, foxes, uh, suburbs, badges, foxes, that, yeah. getting a lot braver. Yeah, because yeah, still sort of do now. The food sort of like you know. Maybe wasteful. drying up. Yeah, like wasteful. We throw rats, it away on the yeah. Food. yeah. Think about yeah. the rat population over the pandemic, yeah. right? You've got rats that are, you know, uh, used to restaurants being open, yeah. takeaways in the middle of town centres, all that waste that was thrown out, what, which rats were on a massive buffet of, yeah. of stuff we were chucking out. Yeah. All of a yeah. sudden, that, that doesn't isn't there anymore. Yeah. Where do the rats the need to go? Well. They need to go yeah. further into the suburbs. Yeah. To try and find those bins and waste. And into the houses and shit. So like that. I think That's this is basically what the problem is because the official um official investigation began uh, when they found that the woman was feeding the black bears during the summer months of twenty eighteen mm. and every week she'd buy the food for the bears. Um it, it kind of caused a bit of controversy when in September uh, wildlife officials basically were saying that more bears were coming into the community right, areas so or more into the sub- suburban told areas. Told his mates and his mates <coughs> went, oh, yeah, we've got a good, uh, good meal in uh, over this way. So they weren't even phased by humans, you know, in its case of the... Yeah, you know, that's the, dangerous. The, you're you're dem- not domesticating them, no. but you're inviting them in. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, so yeah. if you, you feed them... St- stands to reason we had i'll tell you a story. Yeah. we had a cat that was um we'd gone to um portugal oh, one right. year yeah and um you know how it is you could you, you have stray cats uh, roaming around and yeah. stuff like that and um we she made the mistake what? of uh there was a cat outside and we were on a couple of balconies up but like you know there was a cat kind of like um hanging around hanging around and we gave it some ham okay yeah? 
and the next day it was back, yeah, <laughs> with about three other cats. Sucker! And by the end of the week, there was fucking loads of cats. Oh, no. Yeah, so it was like, no, it we weren't a problem. We just kept throwing ham out, you know. Well, saying, it was a problem. You, you were causing it so, <laughs> at you the know, end of the day. Um, I don't know if I agree with that. I kind of agree that, you know, somebody needs to kind of... Um, I mean, it's if, like what you said before, we need a balance. And well, the it balance. is a balance. She's, but she's felt that those that, bears needed that. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe there was a lack of food or whatever the reason she felt she needed to feed those bears. Yeah. Yeah, right. She took it upon herself to do that. Now... Skinny bear. If it wasn't... Yeah, maybe she saw yeah, and noticed possible. that the bears around her place were all fucking look malnourished, <laughs> you know, and she felt she was doing them a favour. Yeah, but she must have been thinking that, like, if I start feeding this animal and every week, especially every week, not the odd day... Then it's it's bound to come back. And I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. You agree with the fact that she's been charged so much money. I, no, do I you know d- what I mean. I think she should have been uh, not. Uh, maybe a thousand pound fine, bit, but you know, but it shouldn't be maybe really just down a thousand to money. Pound yeah, fine. because it no, shouldn't no really be fines. about money unless that money's going into. Well, what are they going to use it for? They're going to say feeding one bears. thing and actually use it for another, yeah. yeah actually exactly. feeding bears, yeah. government-sanctioned feedings. Um, yeah, I'm well, not sure. No, no, nah, they won't do that. No, nah, I, I don't I don't. You'll get a that. fine for it. <laughs> so, well, anyway, have you got anything else you want to mention? Uh, uh, Downing Strait uh, uh, got raided uh, outside. Did it fuck? Uh, <laughs> Did they fuck? Uh, so what are you telling me they kicked in the door when no, we've got a warrant? I mean, uh, outside the gates, um, they had uh, a massive protest outside. Uh, well, Boris was up in Manchester. Well, they should have picked a better day for it. Then he weren't even in. Well, yeah, I, <laughs> I thought I mean? that when I heard about it. it was so like, we're going to oh, protest you know outside Downing Street when... when well, he's in Manchester at the minute, but we'll still do it. No, it's just fucking pointless. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's totally. as pointless as fucking super gluing yourself to the fucking motorway. Totally. Yeah. Totally. It's, it's, it's a bloody nightmare. We make our own nightmare. Uh, don't we just? Don't we just? I just think mad. it's the human condition. Yeah. Um, uh, the so, so what was it over? Uh, about vac- uh, vaccinating uh, your kids, basically. And uh, they were protesting that you, you're forcing them to... Um, but well, he comes under... Uh, Wait a, a minute. Called. Well, how do you know that if given the choice, your kid might not, you know, want the vaccine? Because um, up till the age of 16 um, and the age of 16 to 18, there's a thing called Gillick uh, confidence, which means you've, you, you're you more smarter, you understand what's going on, um, uh, uh, you can deal with the matter. Yeah, you understand, but, but what I'm saying younger is... Younger ages, you But no, that's still, besides the point. That's regardless to, of the point. It's like, all right, then. So say my I have a child mm. and I say, uh, the earth's flat. Yeah, mm. right. And from now on, you'll believe that because I believe it. Yeah, right? It's the same with the anti-vaxxers. Now, again, it's up to you as an individual. Yeah. If you don't want to yeah. get the vaccine, that's your business. Yeah, yeah but you don't force it on somebody else. Yeah. Right? Now, if your child might go to school and make his own informed opinion but, about whether he he or she wants it and if they come home and say mum I want the vaccine yeah then you as a parent should not be trying to force them out of it yeah but the thing is it's it's forced the Gillick what law to go um into younger uh, children who don't understand and don't have the confidence and don't realize uh, what they are doing which, so, so it's up to an adult who um, well, potentially yeah, that's why might be not knowing what they're talking about. Yeah, enforcing, I, I agree with that, yeah. So enforcing something on on what? Basically saying that they're going to give their... I mean, like I say, it's down to the individual, yeah. right? So regardless of what your beliefs are about it, if you want to take it or not take it, that's totally up to you. Yeah. Yeah. But in every sense of the, you know, no matter what it is, it could be vaccines, it could be religion, it could be anything. Yeah. I think you need to make that child aware, give them the, the yeah, well, uh, that's, give them the gist yeah. and then let them go, you know, well, actually, do you know, that might be a good thing. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Well, that, that well, uh, this is the thing. This is why this law was put in place that like when you're coming into adulthood uh, from the age of 16, that you... We, we are putting the trust in you understand what's going on. You understand on how things work and uh, you know what I mean? But any younger, it, was, it, it wasn't enforced, but uh, because of uh, the vaccine, now they've enforced it. So the, the child who 
still doesn't understand because we don't even understand it all yet. No, I know. You know what I mean? And so, it, I know it's still down to the child, but it's still. It just it's makes me laugh because, away I mean, from... at the end of the day, it's like, you know, the, we shouldn't even be kind of in this situation. I know, yeah, Should, I totally We shouldn't agree. be kind of like, you I know, totally trying agree. to sum up whether, you know, it's a good idea to inject the youth with with an unknown yeah. vaccine or whatever. Yeah, right. But again, it's down to the, I mean, so the I... parents will argue that, you know, they know what's best for their kid, mm -hmm. but... There's been so many, I mean, again, yeah, I mean, I don't really, it's a, a fucking touchy subject yeah. and one of those things where it's like there's been, an, there's been anti-vaxxers who've yeah, yeah. contracted COVID yeah. who've then turned around and went, I wish I would have took the vaccine. Yeah. So, you know, how can you judge it? Because there's, like I say, these people who were anti-vaccine who are now pro-vaccine, these people who were pro-vaccine who have contracted COVID since taking the vaccine yeah. and now don't know why they bothered in the first yeah. place. So... We've got so much fucking misinformation. Yeah. I, it's like the best thing to do is just fence it and see how it all plays out. And then, you know, if it's a case of that there's been enough evidence and enough sort of research done on it yeah. that you feel personally that, yeah, I didn't trust it at the beginning, but there's been enough guinea pigs out there taking it now already yeah. that I feel confident taking it. But then when you get... Um, reports and again this is something that I read that I wasn't 100% on mm -hmm. and that I was I've not actually seen the evidence for yeah but that I've seen a couple of posts basically suggesting that the most recent who um, report yeah. based on the UK COVID records and the most you know the the numbers of um, people contracting it. it yeah yeah were 70 percent vaccinated people yeah 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 so but well whether actually that, the other day the australian report whether was that is um people still contracting it but there's still less deaths and the deaths that are occurring are in unvaccinated people is still yeah because out that's the, what the I vaccine don't know. does it yeah. doesn't stop you from catching it it stops no, the after effect but that's the confusion because a vaccine is a vaccine a vaccine yeah. should protect you from getting it, yeah. from contracting it, exactly. and from dying from it. Yeah. yeah. Not doing 50 or 25% of the job. Yeah. yeah, right? That vaccine, you shouldn't call it a vaccine. Yeah, you should yeah, call yeah, exactly. it a, like a prevention. A booster or, or something. Or a booster. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's totally. not a vaccine. No. It's not a true vaccine unless mm. it prevents you from contracting Catching it, passing it passing on, it on and, and, and yeah, dying afterwards. from it. Yeah. yeah, that is a vaccine. Yeah, yeah. this, yeah. what we've got here is an experiment in fuck knows what. Yeah. Yeah, right? And when you've got different versions from different companies and everyone's getting a different thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's even been reports of people taking multiple, you know, just to try and be yeah, safe. Yeah, just to boost, boost up. Who and knows, like, man. And what will what? the after effects as well with this extra boost of uh, flu jabs now as well? I, I think if you've got if you've got an under uh, uh, a problem, a serious health yeah, un yeah. He underlying health then, condition, yeah, I'd seriously think of doing it just to be. The fact safe. of the matter is, well, most people who contract COVID I, will recover. Yeah. you know, like, and um, obviously, will you will feel shit for a few days, but then obviously yeah. you, you'll kind of bounce back. But not even you know, shit. if you've if you have underlying health issues, you probably are best off getting the vaccine. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I mean, I haven't had it, but if I had underlying issues, I would probably, I would be more we've had this, we've had this. It. We've had this argument for a long time, even before yeah. COVID, about yeah. vaccinating children. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, when I was a kid, it was common practice. You'd just end up getting put in a queue in school and yeah, get jabbed yeah, yeah, in the summer, yeah. and you didn't have a clue what the fuck it was. Yeah. You know, but... You just took it for granted. I think nowadays, with everything going on with the pandemic, I think kids are a lot fucking more savvier than we give them credit for. And I think, you know, yeah. given the option, I think it should be coming down to um, a mature conversation with the parents and the children. Yes. Whether, you know, if with you've real got... Information if you, with in real information. If you've got a, an opinion which is contrary to what the popular belief is and you can express that to your child, then yeah. fair enough. But don't impose it. Do you know what I mean? No, no, and don't, don't impose anything like no. that. Like give them, let them make an informed opinion for themselves. Yeah. 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 So, right, yeah, moving totally on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. Some what we got in there. Well, um, I've got a few stories, actually. So, you yeah. know, I found this story, which, again, is just ridiculous. Um, a man who lived on raw meat 
uh, for three years. Oh, my days. Yeah, including raw chicken. Mm, says what? that his body is filled with energy. Filled with bacteria. Filled with God knows what. Jesus. I mean, I know you can eat beef raw or beef rare, I suppose. Yeah. But this takes it way beyond, yeah. Chicken, man. He um, nice. says he's in better health um, in both physicality and mentally. Better than he's ever been in his whole life. Can he prove uh, that? Rose, Rose says. Um, he's very controversial. Yeah, he sounds uh, like it, so. yeah. He's been eating all sorts, though, right? High rich in protein foods such as beef livers, chicken, and other animal organs, including brains and eyeballs. Well, yeah. It's Weirdo. Well, it's healthy eating if you need it. Is it healthy it, eating, if though? If you need it, you eat it. So, obviously, you were talking about, like, you know, links to salmonella. Yeah. Yeah, but he's saying that um, the chicken that he eats is 99% farm fresh raw meat. Right, so he's killed it and well, ate it literally, away. literally eating it fresh, well, as fresh as you can get it. Yeah. Well, uh, if it works, not a lot of people can do that. You know what I mean? We need to go to supermarkets and places. We haven't got the time for that kind of stuff. But yeah, if you if it if it works, it works. You know what I mean? It's I have no issue with it if yeah. it works. Well, he's saying that you know, in terms of like, because obviously to to spend that money on you know raw meat and eat yeah. nothing but you think it was quite pricey but he says yeah. the way he sees it the amount he used to pay for you know the best and the most nu- nutritious food in the world yeah actually equates to a similar amount that he used to spend on junk food Say. so he's saying that the fi- the meat he's eating is so uh fresh Pure that salmonella yeah. is not an issue yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. He's getting maximum protein because yes, it's raw and none true. of the fucking goodness no is taken left. out of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And totally agree. He's he seems healthy as anything, but it made me think about like, you know, animals and, you know, like carnivores. Yeah. Who just eat raw meat, you know what I mean? I mean even and oh, fresh hum- when humans it's fresh, yeah. to an extent before the invention of fire. Yes, yeah, before we true, knew yeah. fire, we were all eating meat off the bone. Yeah, but we weren't leaving it in the fridge for, you know, a couple of days. No, we were just letting like it that. fucking fester yeah. in the Serengeti for a couple of weeks before we found it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we found a carcass here. Have a bit of that. Oh, no, you know, don't eat what you find. What do you reckon? Yeah, I, I think uh, good on him if he can do that, you know, uh, healthy living and he's getting all the protein, probably even better than what we would get. I'm not get. sure, to be honest. I reckon dietitians would, dietitians would probably say um, the contrary, but, you know, obviously... I'd like to see his medical records on it, to be honest, because I'd like to see if uh, like his, if his potassium's gone up, if he's... Uh, uh, well, apparently uh, these um, over each year, four million Canadians or um, one in eight develop a food um, bony illness or bony illness, um, oh. basically according to Health Canada, um, mm. is result to eating raw meat and poultry. Oh, right. So... Well, yeah, I don't recommend it, but, you know, if you, <laughs> totally you know what you're doing it. and, you, uh, you know, you're smart about it and you've got... Uh, Just go to the deli. I'm sure you can get some yeah. fine, you know, sliced, cooked, not it, even cooked meats. He might not even want cooked meat anymore. He might have loved it that much that, like, because... Oh, I bet it takes... I bet it's a consistency, like, something that you've well, never had before. how long? Three it? years, it was horrible. it? horrible. Three years he did Three it. Three years? Yeah. Well, I think, I, I think after, what, four, two months, you're going to be uh, very, you know, used to, to having that taste because you're going to have it for the next, like... Well, a couple of years. fucking talking about eating raw meat, I found this other story, um, which is about an Oklahoma man um, who castrated a volunteer. What? Yeah, in a cabin in the woods, like the oh movie. Oh, my um, days. He basically um, bragged on his intentions to eat the testicles in his jail cell. Oh, what? Um, Bob Lee Allen, who was 54, performed the operation on a man he met online. Oh, my day. Who uh, later told the police that... Um, his body parts were stolen, <laughs> right, oh. um, and stored in a freezer. Um, so, right yeah, next to the sausages, ne- yeah? next to well, the, the, which ones are <laughs> <the> sausage? <laughs> well, um, <yeah>. so, <laughs> Kinell, it's crazy, isn't it? It's f- um, oh, the guy who actually did it, he bragged that he was going to eat it, and you know, that, he was quite, him? yeah, totally. Oh he days. was like um, absolutely loving the idea. Uh, the fact that. <laughs> There are people, actually, who, you yeah. know, advertise for, you know, cannibalism online. Yeah, man. And say, you know, I'm looking for a volunteer to cook and eat. And you know what the weirdest thing is? Go on. It's not illegal. Is it not? No. I c- if you wish, you can have a part of my liver, and I could cut it out now and give it you, and it's not it's not illegal. 
Well, it's funny that actually, isn't it? Because like yeah. you know, um, you could you know, if I needed a kidney, yeah, or whatever, you can donate it to me. So what's the difference? Well, yeah. Well, you're not eating it, are you? Well, Might yeah, but no. But what's the pan? difference between one or eat your liver or fucking want to use because it as it, a liver? It's like cannibalism, sort of is under like you know. Is it illegal into, cannibalism? Yeah, da- it, uh, not under uh, a lot of uh, laws, but Britain definitely not because you can do that. You can legally cut parts out and give to someone else as it's a like treasure. Chewing your fingernails. Yeah. Well, with your liver, it, it grows back. You know what I mean? It grows back and stronger, so you know. So it's like just could keep be helping yourself. Out. Yeah, you yeah, can I mean, help yourself. Just living off human you know liver. Mean? Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, if some well. If someone wants wants to get rid of it in the liver and keep it growing back, it sounds disgusting. It's a man. bit money what maker, is the world isn't it? Coming to shake wow. your money maker, wow. make you some liver and onions. Wow, yeah, yeah, go on then. Right, well, <laughs> let's get off these gruesome, gruesome uh, tales of cannibalism. Yeah, well, you brought it up. Well, I know. Yeah, well, have you got anything else you want to discuss? Uh, let's go with uh, funding for a new uh, thirty-five story building in Manchester. <sighs> Another one. Yeah. See, this is it. We're all trying to be all metro- metropolis uh, sort of thing. We've got one big building in Manchester, like, and um, everyone got a, such a big cob on about it. It's like, oh, my God, no. it's such amazing. It was like people be like, you know, there was a restaurant on, to the, build on the top awesome, of the floor, man. like, you know, where people of Cloud Nine, I think it was called, and everyone was like, you know, oh, my God, it's the must, play, must be place to eat because yeah, 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 of the yeah. views and all the rest of it. Yeah. Now they're trying to make a building even taller. Yeah, they're going to be flats, apparently. Really? Yeah, is that it? It's just going to be flats? Yeah. yeah, I'd put it as like a, a little business central myself. See, I don't trust any... F- you know, I mean, in terms of residential, I yeah. mean, you know, once you start getting above, you know, like a certain amount of floors, I think that's just dangerous. You yeah, know, because I've Because obviously got totally in terms agree, of escaping, yeah. um, if anything was to happen, then you're just kind of like putting yourself in an unnecessary position, nice. you know, where you've, you know, shitloads of stairs to try and traverse and all the rest of it or you know in a position where you've got no other choice but to yeah. try and parachute or whatever i don't know you know well, it's yeah a, it's it, yeah. it's a weird one isn't it i mean it's like why do um architects feel the need to kind of keep going bigger and higher and you know well i i think we're finding that uh now they're gonna uh, they're starting to go uh further down what, well, like so, underground? Yeah, because you've only got two choices, really, haven't you? You can either go up or down in a single property. Yeah, of course. So I you've suppose got as well, it's like it depends on land as well. So yeah. if you've only got a minimum space and you want to maximise your profits, and yeah, I think you go under, yeah. most of the time, I I'd always think that myself. this is what it's about. Yeah, mm. it's not a case of that you're trying to be impressive by building a, a t- taller tower. Oh, yeah. You're trying to maximise what you can sell from yeah. this square footage of land that you own it's like if you can go further higher and further up then yeah, obviously that's, that's more floors to to rent and sell whatever and privacy as well how you do know, you mean it's, well it's getting harder and harder to have uh, your own privacy against uh, you know the systems that you know you've got in your True. pocket and actually i mean this is the thing i think we're all i mean to be fair we're all on each other's doorsteps and yeah. it just gets to the point where like how many people can you fit in a square foot of land yeah you know no, when they, this is this is it i mean when these buildings are just rather like you say going down or up regardless of of how much you know how far they go up or down yeah. you can you, you know can squeeze that many people yeah. in and profiteer off it so yeah. you know i just don't know I'll, 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 so I don't know if it's a good idea, whether it, whether it um, enhances the Man- Mancunian skyline or not, you know, as well, a different yeah. story. Hopefully they change the mind and go, well, you know what, yeah, it might be a good idea to put some businesses in there instead. Maybe, but that's the thing, well, isn't it? I mean, it's like what businesses do they end up putting on these ground floors of big office blocks? It's usually hotels or, you know, uh, yeah, you know things that cater... Not- the, the 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 projects that cater for out of town people they're not beneficial to Manchester in terms of well, well they know. are you in bring, like you, you know bring the businessmen into uh, uh, and women into the area and you know you've got a, a nice little office area for um, you know yeah, you're in London we've got loads of those we've got WeWorks we've got all yeah, these yeah but it's going to be places. the newest the stylish the you know the brightest Care. one on the block do you block. know what Manchester's the most Manchester money. is one of the most redeveloped yeah. cities in the world yeah. right yeah Hell we yeah. have got plenty of space for people to rent for offices oh, I totally yeah. agree well, it's so one thing we're not like Money of, yeah. The thing is, 
we've got all these mills, we've got all these properties that are just yeah. sat there doing nothing. Why Min not? The mills, the mills could adapt be those, so you know? adaptable. Anyway. So adaptable. Um, anything else? Uh, um, energy crisis. So negative tonight, yeah. I know. I'm sorry, but it's all about government, what? government fucking hatred. You're making well, me, you're making me right rant and rave. <laughs> is what you're doing. Go I'm on. Sorry. Uh, well, apparently uh, the independents just come out with uh, energy crisis uh, levies. We already knew there was an energy gas. crisis. Well, this is the thing, though, for businesses within the next couple of days, because when what they're going to do is take off bill for your electric and put it on their gas their levies basically so they're going to change the levies so it's going to be more expensive to have gas so that it makes it the forces company. people go electric like well, it forces the company to go more are electric. you you're really anti-green tonight well no you are well, you've no. gone you've bitched about your fucking electric car being yeah. forced to buy an electric car so you buy you're being something forced, and you, you got oh, to now you're bitching it. now you're bitching about like the fact that you you they're trying to get rid of gas so everything's electric yeah well are, you, are, an, are you anti-environment <laughs> or something i think you're fucking no i like, think we the, should the, use the, nuclear more than we should <laughs> use anything else i think we should use nuclear because I think nuclear we should is use... more efficient than anything else that we have not give a shit minute. mate also chernobyl right you know at the end Cold of the day yeah you know, thing is, thing is, there are plenty of um, you know power sources that are free, uh, sustaining, sustainable. Um, you've got wind, you've got solar, you've got fucking oh, well, hydro well, 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 turbine, well, whole no. hydro tu- um, turbines. No, because it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way because even this year, um, the energy that we were getting from uh, the uh, uh, the windmills and stuff like that, we wasn't getting. Yeah, because as much. They, they're a publicity stunt. They're put up to fucking appease people. Yeah, yeah to say, look what we're doing. We're doing green yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when really it's too. You should too, be using it's not nuclear enough. fuel instead. Yeah. It, no, no, not necessarily. It's more safer now than it has been. It, and plus I don't the, care. The, the two that have already been destroyed, they've already fucked the planet up as it That's is. That's what I'm saying. So the what? So right, okay. So your answer is yeah, build nuclear things rather than uh, clean, efficient, uh, you know, natural ways of uh, p- powering things. Yeah, well, it's not clean. Right. It's not efficient, and it's not natural. Well, not what nuclear isn't. Well, ne- well, yeah. How is it? It's natural. It's a natural uh, substance. No, but you're adding natural other substances it to get a reaction. Yeah. You cannot. You cannot tell me that building a nuclear reactor, yeah, it doesn't have its f- it drawbacks. Does. It, it doesn't does. have its fucking dangers. It does. Yeah, yeah I totally right? agree with that. When you could, when you've got an ocean there that is yeah. constantly moving, that has yeah. the power, yeah. yeah, to generate electricity, yeah, right. You've got Tesla plans that actually talk about like you harnessing the the movement and magnetic yeah, I like forces the idea of, Tesla's of the new of the planet itself. Yeah, right. You've got all these different options, right? Green options, and people seem to just go back to nuclear power, petrol power, because them fossil options fuels. aren't working. They're not bringing the energy that we need because they're not doing it in a in a yeah, way because it's not efficient. They're not doing it in an efficient way yeah. that is actually fought through. They're yeah. doing it in a way that is just a publicity stunt yeah, totally to make agree. it look like they're doing green stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, when yeah. it doesn't, you know, power majority of the country. It probably runs a town, mm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not good enough. Yeah, it's not right? good enough. They need to, um, you know, make. Find I mean, a way even of four of them little anyway. fucking windmills with little Ooh. ones on it, and even more. And it's you're getting you know. me vexed, man. Sorry, man. No, oh. seriously, you want me? Oh, you want me to <laughs> fucking stop the show? But seriously, right? Because the the, I mean, fair enough. They might be safe, uh, safer, or whatever. They might be more efficient. Yeah, but you know, at the end of the day, yeah, when we're trying to rid the world of nuclear stuff aren't we nuclear arms or nuclear fucking what more more uh, more of coal and wood than that than uh nuclear how do you because mean because we're already building uh, nuclear stations for the future already well no i think they should like look at other options because this is well I yeah think... i agree with you but them options aren't on the table because they haven't got them options there they put something like you said there to uh put the publicity there and haven't actually got the stuff that we actually need 
Right. So well, we need the energy, don't we? We need energy, but at the end yeah. of the day, yeah, these are ways of ways of going about it. And the fact yeah. is, it's like. Oh, you know, the idea of, like, nuclear anything just gives me chills. Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, then to totally turn around and say, you know, like, well, if we... It, I might be dead wrong, yeah. Could be dead wrong, yeah. They, they could be safe as houses, but... I don't see that as a natural way of creating energy, yeah. right? Yeah, you might say, well, it is natural because we're using uranium and plutonium, which are natural isotopes. Yeah. But, yeah, I, the way that... You know, there are other ways. Do you know, like, what about... Um, there was um, a reactor that was basically... Or a power station that was, like, um, you know, almost steam-powered, if yeah, you like. Yeah, yeah, I totally you know, agree. Where you can generate, you know, in terms of, like, what we're looking at now in um, Los Palmos, volcanic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Why not harness natural occurring energies yeah. that we have yeah. in abundance... I mean, Iceland's built on it. Let's let's just Iceland look at let's just look it. at the facts, right? Yeah. Um, in terms of in the world today alone, yeah, there's been 52 earthquakes. Yeah, right. Yeah, there's been um, today alone. Yeah, right. On any given day, there's 20 active erupting volcanoes. Yeah, That's right. Massive. Why can we not harness this yeah. power? Yeah. Why can't we harness the ocean power? Yeah. Why can't we harness? I mean, we've got technology. We've so got why technology is it that why it. is we it have. that we're fucking looking at because methods it's not that we've already going, got that are, are fucking outdated, but they're just trying to improve outdated bullshit yeah. instead of coming Build up on with top new of ways yeah. of doing things that are more efficient. Yeah. Now, yeah. I don't agree with nuclear power stations throughout the UK. I uh, mean, what was it, yeah. Sellafield, or what was it, when was it Sellafield, or was uh, it, what yeah, was the yeah, other yeah, one? Yeah, 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 because the, uh, that one's the one that's closing down, but we'll be building a new Yeah, I know, but I'm pretty sure that they turned around and said it was safe. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Now, look at the people in the area. Yeah, mm -hmm. people in the area would say that they've had side effects from the, the idea, the fact that that, that um Yeah, there's been a lot of... ...was there in the first there, place. Think. Right, it's not a it's not a good idea, and especially with the way that our government's operating. Yeah, they'll yeah. probably get a load of fucking cheap contractors in. Yeah, yes. who 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 uh, gave them the, gave them the cheapest sender. Yeah, to do the job, mm. and they'll do it shitter. Yeah. It'll last ten years and crumble to the ground. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah. Well, let's move on. Yeah. So, um. I do have one thing about, um, like, kind of the COVID um, thing, mm. because this was quite interesting. Florida woman has been listed as receiving um, a COVID grant that she never applied for and never received. Holly mm. Hill, resident, um, who's um, Amy Williams, um, she was stunned when she found that her name appeared on a federal database saying that she'd claimed COVID, um, a COVID grant of three point four million dollars. Yeah, yeah, I'd be stunned as well. Of course oh you my are. Um, she's gone on record saying there's nothing to do with her. She's never had that, um, seen or you know seen the money. Never yeah. even applied for the money um, as part of a COVID relief check. Um, Holly Hill resident Amy Williams mm -hmm. says that she was stunned to find a name on an out, um, on a outdated an address. Yeah, oh, so, so it went even, it went even the address that she was living at at the time. Oh, no. Um, the federal database started uh, stated that she'd received millions in COVID um, relief. Um, so, you oh, know I what I mean? Millions then. I'm not being funny, but That's dodgy, it made me man. think that is dodgy that as fuck. Is dodgy. I mean, she fuck. only noticed that she was on this list. Yeah. yeah but how many others um, yeah. are on the list that don't know she's on there? Or don't know they're on there? This is a problem with your information being out there as well. It's not even a case of that. It makes me think that the government is being dodgy as fuck, man, because yeah, it's like, yeah, that's yeah, $3.4 million. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd You've got to clean that, it back somewhere. Where did that $3.4 million go if she's not had it? Yeah. And then how about all the other people who are on the list? I think there needs to be an investigation into where this money has gone and if they legitimately got the money they claimed for or even claimed for it in the first place yeah I yeah totally agree. and if they're listed as claimants yeah you need to check with those people whether they a claim the money in the first place b received it yeah and why the fuck their name appeared on the list in the first place yeah this is a big and where the hell's the money gone this is it 
you, uh, the, but I can see this being swept under the carpet. Of course it will. Like a lot of him. And it's, it's crazy, man. The amount of dodginess going on. It's just, it needs to stop and fucking, you know. So what do you reckon? Do you think that's like... Um, uh, I, th- I think it's... Suspicious? Yeah, definitely. They are definitely put an investigation. I definitely put the feds under investigation for it because it's, the, it's their, what can we say, mistake that they will probably turn around and say, oh, it's a computer error. Yeah. Is it? Well, how come the computer error got like the... Uh, well, in that case, where's your 3.4 million? Yeah, where is the money now? And I mean, I'm, I'm going out on a limb here, but I'm going to suggest that that's not the only name on the list that didn't actually cl- um, put in a claim. I think you should you know get I mean? gold star for that. Yeah. I think I should. Um, moving into the NASA news. Yeah. I'm glad we got off the politics because I tell you what, it was getting me angry tonight. Yeah, po- well, politics get, it does that. Oh. You know I mean? it, it, it gets Scrap the news altogether. Might cut it off. Might, you might even get it. <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, NASA news this week. Um, William Shatner um, obviously <laughs> has revealed that he's feeling um, a bit tense a bit queasy, ahead of his space flight. <laughs> um, I'm Captain Kirk, and I'm oh, terrified. Oh, you got. Oh, yeah, he's got to go up there. You know what I mean? He can't pull out. He can't pull out. He's the captain. He's he's got to at least do one trip up there. Well, during at, during the panel at uh, New York Comic Con on Thursday, uh, Thursday William Shatner revealed that he's terrified to go into space. Um, I, I would be as well, mate. It's not yeah. exactly like one of those, you know, just pop into the shops, is it? Well, that's true. That's true. But in, in I, I wonder how long he's going to go up there for. Is it just like eight minutes or something? It's going to be one of those down. same sort of jobbies that he oh, that he did um, himself, in it, uh, Bezos. Yeah, it's yeah. not going to be anything as impressive as the SpaceX one. No, I shouldn't imagine. No. It's just literally going to be a quick up and down John. <laughs> I think he's going to be sending anyone up he can at the moment to try and get a bit of publicity. That's true. But um, as long as the captain gets up there, we, you know. We need Kirk up there. Well, yeah, obviously, it wouldn't be space without Captain Kirk, no, would it? Would it? Um, Star Trek. Um, we need the Star Enterprise set next. That, um, obviously, you know, he's you know he's been portrayed as being a captain for yeah. Captain Kirk for so long, but so actually going to space would Is be it? a bit of a, a bit of a feat. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's he's a... fifty-five as well at the minute, so it's not like he's gone through any you know special space training. That's true. I, well, I hope it goes well for him. Yeah, like he's, he's, he's I wonder his fitness. Is he going to be fit for it? I don't know. That's the thing. This is I think a lot of pressure, this, is, this it? I mean, he's Jeff Bezos is saying it's a historic uh, trip into space, and obviously, yeah. you know, with the actor William Shatner beside him, yeah. it's going to be. So is Bezos going up again? Yeah, I should imagine. Fuck I think me, he's mate. doing it for publicity. For, well, this uh, is this, isn't anything. it? It's only, you know, if Elon Musk went up every time he blasted off a ship, he'd be never out of space. Yeah, he'd be on Mars, like, cooking his breakfast when we get Pretty there. Pretty sure he wants that, to be honest. Well, but, that um, is true. Yeah, so, so do we all. Um, <laughs> anything else? Uh, I have... Uh, yeah, Need to read a, the room. There's a, an asteroid um, uh, coming close to us the size of uh, the uh, Great uh, Gaza. Uh, temple, what's it called? Uh, the Great uh, Dead Air, bro. Dead yeah. Air. Come on, what's it called? It's massive, anyway. This uh, big thing. It's uh, <laughs> it's called Twenty Twenty One SM Three, uh, and you should be able to see it uh, on the fifteenth of October. Yeah, we did actually talk about this a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Didn't like, we? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. So basically, yeah, it's a, ma- a massive meteorite that they did spot, rich, literally, kind of randomly. Yeah, yeah. they just basically um, they, they not seen well, they anything found for it ages. This like, year, and, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, normally they, they're looking out for this sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And normal in normal instances, they would have seen that ages ago, but for some reason, they missed it. Yeah, it's huge. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be like a planetoid. Yeah, if you like. Um, Massive. So when's this due to kind of uh, come past us? Feet, it will be passing us. So and is it going to be visible couple, by the naked eye, or what? What's the situation? Three, uh, three mi- million miles away, so it should be visible with uh, a telescope. Fair enough. One. Possibly with your binoculars if you're lucky. Well, um, another story here, um, you know, UFOs. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Well, or, a little UFO. You know, like um, UFOs and uh, what? what's the U, UAPs? UAPs, VVAs. Well, uh, this this one, I mean, they, you, we've all seen the sort of different many shapes these UFOs take, o, uh, take on. Tic Tacs or yeah, triangle oh, yeah. sort of, um, T, what are they called, TR3Bs? TR3Bs, um, yeah. You know, 
different different shapes yeah, um, of, you know, UFOs spotted over the years. Well, this is something a bit different because over for the first time, um, a UFO has been spotted the shape of a rubber duck. A rubber duck? Indeed. Oh and, uh, before you kind of start, you know, taking the piss, thinking that we're talking shit, the rubber duck here... <laughs> or, uh, the rubber ducky um, is basically uh, legit. Yeah, it's the okay. U.S. Department of Homeland Security has been oh. analyzing the footage and has finally um, released it. And uh, the statement read, "I'm finally proud to announce uh, to you guys the first legitimate footage of a genuine UAP craft uh, tracked for over 40 minutes um, mm. by the Department of Homeland Security um, using the Fleur." Like optic system um that's pretty cool news. yeah now, yeah i've looked at the footage it's crazy because it does look yeah. like a rubber duck yeah the silhouette really? of a rubber duck but it kind of because it's kind of like a big sort of mass with a bit of a smaller mass on top All right, so you could yeah, argue yeah. that it's a bit snowman yeah but yeah. in, well, in, the, in the proportions angle. from the angle you see the video it does look like a rubber duck okay. yeah so Sweet. no shit there's a so fucking rubber duck UFO. Duck, rubber duck flying. Indeed, yeah. So oh, the footage was captured by an RC-26 um, reconnaissance plane. They were looking for drug smugglers somewhere over Tucson, Arizona. Ah, right, yeah. okay. Um, when the object was spotted about 20 minutes into the footage. They found a ducky instead. They tracked it for a further 40 minutes until the footage ends. Yeah. Um, but legit, I mean, it is kind of a bit of an odd sight to see, to watch a, um, a rubber duck stream through the air at speed. Yeah. Well, yeah, true, with no flapping as well. I know, well, <laughs> ducks, you know, they're ducks flyers. Yeah, aren't they? Of course they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course they are. Of course they are. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Rubber Ducky. I mean, I'll try and post that on, um, in fact, I'll do that now, post that on Twitter for you guys. Alleged um, Homeland Security Rubber Duck UFO. There you go. Check it out. I've just delivered it right now. Um, Check that out later. Um, I've got a couple more spacey news, but have you got anything for for, um, NASA news? Uh, Yeah, well... um, my scientists um, have uh, now think they know where they can look for life. They say that all the time. Where are they suggesting I to know. look now? Under now, the sofa? Behind well, the fridge? Well, no, actually, um, there's a, a little uh, rocky mountain and um, they, they, they're suspecting uh, between like a couple of the gaps. between. <laughs> <there. laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. It's like, has anyone looked down that crack? Yeah, look down that crack over there. Yeah, basically, they've Is spotted... Is this on Mars? Yeah, they've spotted an area where they believe, or now they reckon that uh, they uh, will find life. I saw a monkey on Mars. Little... I seen a video claiming they saw a, an ape on Mars recently. I mean, uh, uh, you know... And a scorpion. I think the past looking in the cracks... Well... You know, for, yeah. according to Scott Waring on, you know, the UFO thing, uh, uh, yeah. network, he's saying that there's a monkey... Monkey on Mars. Well, yeah, there's, I mean, don't get me wrong, but there is a lot of pictures of weird shit on Paradolia, Mars. Paradolia, basically. Yeah, but, yeah, but I don't think, I think some of it is right, but I think some of it is Paradolia as well. Yeah, I mean, the the, the only both. legit thing that I've seen that's been actually discovered on Mars recently, mm. yeah, was the Chinese uh, mission that was, um, they've just sent up their rover. Yeah. Now, where they've landed is in a very similar a very similar spot to where the original Mars rover landed, the first Mars rover. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's suspicious, that. Why is that? Because well, it's... Well, why are you going to go to the spot where someone else has been before, well, where it just, it's such it a big uh, It depends, big thing. because, I mean, they might have their own interest interest in going to that area well, or that it might be true. the safest area to land on a first mission you know to because see if they actually did send the rover there well in that's what that's, i first I, well, I was just about to say because what they did find was oh. the um parachute ah. of the original mars oh, rover sweet. and so the there. the um the docking station you know where so basically when yeah. the, when it lands yeah the rover um, drives off the platform, so they found the original landing spot for the original rover. Yeah, yeah. So, it, so it, it did happen. So you can't even argue that they went to Mars because they've got video proof footage from another country. 
who have just drove past it yeah. on their way to do their own thing. Who would do you know have what I mean? loved to have turned around and gone, yeah, what are you on about? They're not here. There's no one here. No one's ever been here. Yeah, we're they would have loved to there. say they were the first ones yeah, there. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. I mean, they have proven, without a shadow of a doubt, that yeah, uh, yeah. they did actually go to Mars. Well done, yeah. lads. Well done at NASA. Uh, keep your good work up. Oh, I'm pretty sure that we all knew that they'd been to Mars. Yeah, this is we it. had no Isn't doubt Isn't it funny how we've really think. not got any sort of controversy about whether we went to Mars or not, but, but there is all It's the first time big... we've got definite proof, though, if you think about it, from another nation. True, you know true. I mean? But, I mean, in that case, we've we've had definite proof from other of nations of, uh, the, of, of the moon. moon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, loads totally. of times where people have gone up to the moon and went... There's the flag that Neil Armstrong planted, you know, I mean, yeah. there's never any shadow of the doubt that other nations haven't seen that as evidence. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've put reflectors up there that and we can yeah, shine lasers at. Yeah, to find out how far it's is it going or coming close so, to us. So, I mean, whether that's evidence enough to say that we originally landed on the moon when we said we did, or yeah, time. we've been there since, but who knows? I mean, it's one of them, isn't it? We've definitely been there. That's a, that. That's a main factor. Um, we've got evidence that that's happened. Got my last story. Um, Elon Musk's SpaceX has just been reevaluated, oh, right. um, and it's just hit the hundred billion valuation mark. So um, after a second share sale, uh, the valuation of Elon nice. Musk's SpaceX uh, crossed one hundred billion uh, following its secondary share sale in uh, by Insider. Um, announcement this week on CNBC. Well, so that's pretty interesting. I think it's a good uh, investment, to be honest. Of course. For the future. I mean, I the shares are... I mean, if you were best. luckily enough, lucky to um, invest in SpaceX right at the start, obviously it's a big oh, investment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, definitely. So obviously... Um, made some money there. Well, get out. I think shares, new shares are expecting to um, sell at about, what, say it was like seven, well, not sell, but 750 million in the stock companies insider at uh, 560 a share. That's a lot of dough. Fucking is, That's isn't it? Nice. So the new evaluation of um, 100.3 billion up from 74 billion in February means that SpaceX has um, um, achieved a rare status um, as a private company. As a billion, a billion pound unicorn, as they call it. it and let's just hope they keep it, because, you know... It's funny, because actually SpaceX has more money than America right now. <laughs> yeah, Isn't it funny it? how yeah. our, our company operating within the States has more money than the country? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's crazy yeah. to T- think about. Told you, the firms are taking over, man. It the is, big tech. Big tech is taking over. Yeah. Um, and on that note... I think that's the end of the show. Have you got any more NASA I news? I think so. I yeah. think that's it. Yeah. Well, we'll be back next week um, Ooh, with an interesting up. topic. As Definitely usual. interesting topic and a special guest. Yes. By all, by all accounts. Oh yeah. Um, yeah if you've got wait. any comments, queries, or suggestions, you know what to do. You can send us an email. Get in touch. Um, or you know, get hit us up on social. Yeah, you know, what um, to do. we're available at neverstraightanswer at gmail dot com, or go to the website at neverstraightanswer dot co dot uk. Website. Uh, we'll be back next week, like I say, we with an interesting topic and guest. Yes. Uh, I want to say big thank you to all our patrons who um, we couldn't do it without you. Yes. So big thank you to you. Um, yes, you can go definitely. over and um, you know join the Patreon revolution. Yes, if you big, like. Big shout out to Swoosh. I haven't spoke to him for a while. Swoosh and Jay, yeah, man, and Jay are decent patrons. Good stuff, good yes. lads. Um, you can help us out by joining. We've got several tiers from yeah. Agent, Special Agent, and Beyond Top Secret. Oh, yeah, um, if you'd like to contact us, if you've got any questions or anything, um, you know, please do. Yeah. It's all good. We're here. We're available on all podcast platforms, wherever you get your podcast, uh, whether that be YouTube or iHeartRadio, Spotify, iTunes, or wherever. Make sure you subscribe. Yep. We're not going anywhere. We're not. We're so, here. Thank you for everyone who's listened all the way to the end. Thank you. <laughs> Heard me ram- ranting on. <laughs> and me just being quiet for a couple of minutes while Shit. I'm looking at something. Then, you know, <laughs> yeah. we appreciate you. Yes. Thank you for sticking with us. We'll Thank be back you. next week. We uh, will, indeed. I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. Peace. Out. Joy.